club. Yeah. And it was a swanky as hell one as well. Yes. Swanky dangy Twitch is live. FYI. Was that one percent of the country access kind of thing? Yeah. Funny things. Ooh. And we're live. Awesome. Yeah. Question is if I can remember how the hell to do stuff. <laughs> How to mute us um, before we go live. That, that'd that be amazing if you could remember that. Oh, oops. <laughs> ah, well. What are, they, what are they gonna be missing? Not much. Hey! Uh, Watch your tongue. Uh, <laughs> crap. Not that, but that. You. Really? Yeah, really, okay. Where go away? Uh, yeah, I think, maybe. Uh... I forget. Yeah, Ty, if you're the DM. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. <laughs> well, do the DM stuff then. I believe stuff is should be kind of maybe working ish. Right. Okay. Uh, if you want to bring down your um your screen. Uh, should we? No, I think we're ready. We're ready as I'll ever be. Huh? I just don't. Uh, so, we, we, I'm assuming we've had long rest since then. Have we? Did we ever um, get experience? Or stuff no, one's, or? no one's made a decision on that yet. So, um, the question is, how much can you guys actually remember <laughs> from your last session? How good were your notes? Well, don't have any notes. Wasn't 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 someone supposed to be taking notes? I had some. I didn't make many. We've done we've done mission and received a reward from that one, and we've been offered five hundred gold pieces to go to Cragmore Castle, which we still haven't decided on. Well, no, I thought I thought we split that the four of us, and then we put the rest towards party treasure. That was from the first one, I think. Uh oh. That was from the first. Oh. I'm echoing off somebody. I'm echoing. Checking it's not me. Okay. Anyway, right. So, um, obviously, some memories need a bit of jogging. So, let's give you a bit of background again. Right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is the blurb? Oh, we go. So, as you will all remember. Uh, you and an adventuring party started off in the city of Neverwinter, and a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Fandolin. Now, he's part of a set of three people, three brothers, the Rockseeker brothers. It's Gundren, Farden, and uh, Nerdo. Now, you were ambushed on the way to, to Falandin, managed to fight off some goblins, track them back to their, their base of operations, it wasn't really the, the main base of operations for the goblins, so much as it was a, a bit of a hideout. And you managed to find Sildar, who'd been captured, or accosted, captured, on the way to Falandin. And you found out that Gundred Rockseeker, who he was travelling with, had um, been captured with him and been taken somewhere else. Which, uh, they believe, is uh, a place that... Where is it here? Which you believe is, um... Cragmore Castle. So that's, uh, that's what Sildar was, was hoping you would help him with. Is, uh, Cragmore Castle trying to get, uh, back Grunt and Rockseeker. Right. So just to give you a bit of, uh, a bit more of the background there. So here's some of the things that Sildar would have told you. Um, as you'd rescued him. Right, so let me just get this up. So he would have given you the, the following information. 
So there are three Rock Seeker brothers, as I mentioned Gundrin, uh, Farden, and Nerdo. Uh, and they've recently located the entrance to the long forgotten Wave Echo Cave. Right, a site of the, the mines of the Fandalva's Pact. And if you don't know about the Pact, there's a little bit of story here, which I'll just tell you really quickly. So, more than 500 years ago, claims of uh, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Fandelvers Pact, by which they would share the riches of, uh, yes, but they would share a rich mine of wondrous, how's that even written? Would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern known as the Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters aligned themselves with dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind the energy into a great forge called the Forge of Spells. Um, and in this forge, they would um, make magic items, craft them. Times were good, and the nearby town of Falandin, which is where this is based, uh, prospered well, but uh, a disaster struck when orcs swept through the north and laid waste to all in their path. Uh, yeah, a powerful force of orcs, reinforced by evil mercenary wizards, attacked the Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and magic treasures. The human wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the Forge of Spells, and uh, in the ensuing battle, much of the, the cavern was destroyed, and very few survived the cave-ins, so the location of the Wave Echo Cave was lost to history. But obviously, Gundren sounds like he's found it again, and is trying to exploit it. But Gundren isn't here. He's been taken off to the Goblin's hideout. So that's a bit of a problem. Now, in your last session, you were exploring Fal uh, Falandin. So if I can get my notes up, you um, you spent some time in the in Barfin's provisions, delivering your wagon, getting some money. Uh, I think some of you picked up a few bits and pieces, caltrops uh, and such. You went to the, the Stonehill Inn, had a long rest. Uh, a certain uh, Tazar, I think it was. Tazar? No, Synth. Synth got himself beaten up in a bar brawl. Didn't do very well there. <laughs> uh, you spent some time at the Line Shield Costa, talking to, to Lenine Greywind. You spent some time at the My Founders Miners Exchange, which you all thought was a little bit sus, because it was the only place that the Redcoats... Um, Red Capes? Whatever their name is. The Red Brands are the, the only place where they didn't seem to hassle the owners. Everyone else didn't really seem to, to like the Red Brand. Right, and then um, obviously you got accosted because um, Danova uh, tempted fate. And I think you got what? You, you killed three of them, uh, captured one of them, spent some time questioning them. Do you remember anything about what they said? Nope. Ah. Uh, yeah, sadly no. Sadly no. Oh, well, then I, I guess that's where the campaign ends. <laughs> what were we doing? I can't remember. Let's go. Uh, uh, something, okay. Something about the big bad. Big baddy being up at a manor, I believe. Yes. So yes, they, they, yes. They would yes, have told yes. you that they were basing themselves out of Trendstar Manor. Yep. They, they told you that the leader of the Red Brands was a human wizard known as Glassstaff. So named because of the staff that he held, right? This glass staff. Um, and apparently the cops you... around here are imbeciles because they wouldn't take our prisoner in, so we had to let him run. Yes, well, the um, the, 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 the kind of mayor of this town was pretty intimidated by all the red brands. Didn't want to get himself in trouble by putting one of them in prison. That's right. That's right. We were going to go up. We were going to go up to the manor. I remember that now. Yeah, and you've also found out that um. The Red Brands were actually being paid. A mysterious figure called the Black Spider had hired the Red Brands to frighten off adventurers and intimidate the locals, but you didn't know why. And you'd also heard that she'd, um, obeyed, shall we say, <laughs> slip of the tongue. Uh, the Black Spider had, um, brought in some hired muscle as well, some bugbears. So you've got the human, the human Red Brands floating about, and also there are some bugbears perhaps, floating around. And that's about where you left it. And let's see, let's have a look at your health. So no one's long rested or short rested at this point. So I think, because your character sheets haven't been updated, uh, Corby is on 7 HP out of 15, Lazel is on 14 of 20, and 
synth is on 12 of 20. So you're all about 50-50. Corby's got Captain? absolutely no spell slots left. Um, uh, no spell well, slots is true, but I got mine set at 15 or 15. Yeah, mine set 20 out of 20. And you didn't say anything about Declan. Ah, you may have uh, rolled your hit dice, so had a short rest after that. But that didn't get you spell, uh, spell slots back. No, I and think Declan did, yeah, didn't I think take any damage. I, okay, I, I, and that's what I, thought. I think we did do a short rest. So that's, yeah. that's kind of where we're picking up there. So you've had your short rest. You've uh, you've interrogated that guy. Let him go after trying to imprison him. Um, you've got a, an idea where the red brands might be hiding. And uh, yeah, let me see. There are a couple of other things that were going on. Sorry, just one second because I just got to pull it up. There we go. I so there was. <laughs> Sorry, just one second. Talk amongst yourselves, Phil. Phil. <laughs> if Star stop being quackers. Wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> so how much snow did you get there, Sarge? Um. Well, let's just say that we had uh, snow dunes the size of uh, you can't uh, you can't cross over them because they're taller than you. Damn, that's snow. The one we didn't get any. Yeah, it's been rather disappointing over here. Yeah, we um don't oh, jinx come it. Over here and get some. We were supposed to get some uh, yesterday, but it kind of went north of us, and we just got rain, which was fine. I would love to get rain instead of snow because our trucks hate the snow. Wait a minute, you? Okay, so you... yeah, so the other two things that are going on is you heard about Cragmore Castle. Don't know where it is at the moment, uh, but you know that um, Gundren is there. And also, when you went to the town hall, you did see that there was a, a poster on the outside of it that said, uh, what's it? Reward. Orcs near Riven Tor. Those of a mind and face... So those of those of a mind to face the Orc Menace should inquire within, and there was a 500 GP reward. No, wait, that's the castle. The, sorry, 100 gold piece reward for clearing out those orcs, according to the poster. So those are kind of the things that are going on. So, what are you doing? All right, and we are, um, we are in uh, Falandin. We are outside. The no, no, I know, I know. Well, yes. Yeah, but, yeah. But have we? So, uh, oh, there we are. Okay, I had to scroll over. Um, what time of day is it? Uh, it's very early in the morning. Uh, you literally walked out the Stone Hill. It's Stone Hill Inn. Complained that there was nothing going on, immediately got attacked, and took a short rest. Um, I don't know, do we want to go to the manor, or do we want to just go north? I'm thinking the orcs might be yeah. a quick... Yeah, I don't, I don't think the manor is like our, uh, our XP level at this current time. Uh, might want to try something a little bit easier. First, that's yeah, just my I, opinion. I, I, yeah, no, I agree. I think we, uh, the orcs, will um, get some uh, experience and maybe some loot and stuff, and then, um, so I think once we go to the manor, then it's going to be, um, going to be like, um, into the fan. Bloodshed. I love how you think that that's going to be easier. <laughs> No one, no one said anything about it being any easier. <laughs> but you can certainly try. Um, okay. Right. Okay. So, so what are you guys doing? Was there was there a decision in there somewhere? Um, um, yeah, standing we're around go. twiddling our thumbs. <laughs> no, no. What was uh, the the inquiry of the orcs? What, where do we go for that? 
Right, it's a place called Riven Tour. And let me just see, because there is a, a travel away, so it takes a little bit of time to get there. Let's find that. Mm. We go... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so, um... Having spoken to some people, you would find out that Riven Tour is a... A crag, a prominent landmark in a rugged hills to the northeast of the Swordwind Mountains, and is easily visible from about 20 miles away. Uh, yeah, you know that you would get there by travelling up the Tribor Trail, uh, which is actually the trail that you were heading along to go to Falandin, so it's a continuation of that. Uh, let me just have a look. Yeah, and it'd take you, um, yeah, take you about three days to, to get there and back. So you'd, uh, you'd definitely need provisions, and there'd be some travelling involved, and uh, overnight camping. We overnight camping. Always the fun times. Yeah. Getting, getting like around fun. the campfire, telling spooky stories, getting an ambush and whatnot. <laughs> Depends how well you roll. Yeah! The way the, in hi, what history tells us. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's uh, let's let's uh, let's get provisions um, for the travel plus one. You think, just to be safe? Sounds right. like a plan. So if yeah. it takes us three days there and back, let's do four days just to be safe. Um, uh, which would also. Um, do, do we want to do a long rest prior to leaving as well? Do we no, have full spells? I believe the best thing to do if we're going somewhere, then use the daylight to go there and then. Uh, yeah. I mean, that depends on uh, are we all gonna be walking? Are we gonna be having a wagon? Are we. What are we gonna be doing, you know? Well, we have. I thought we had horses. Yeah, you got me, but I can't carry all of you. Well, no, 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 no. I know you, but you, you were dragging, <laughs> dragging. You were, you were, you were pulling the wagon, and I think I thought the rest of us were on horses. Yeah, no, but we, 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 we put, we gave the wagon back, didn't we? So, right, right. But the yeah. wagon was all right. But the wagon was hauling the provisions that we were transporting. Right, it we. Unless you guys have got that much stuff on you, you need a wagon to carry your provisions. I mean, like three, four days worth of provisions per person is not going to well, be a lot. You, you all have backpacks, and if you do look in your equipment, you do have um, a number of rations in there. Yeah, that we do. We actually have, well, I don't know if you have, but I at least have, uh, uh, what's that? Five, no, ten rations for yes, a day. So, so ten, ten, ten days worth of rations, so. You know, in theory, should be okay here. Yep, I should be okay too. Just checking. Apparently, I also got some meat chunks. Hmm. A little extra something on the Barbie. <laughs> sure, that went for the wolves. All right, our little pet petties. <laughs> also, I think your camera is frozen. I can't do nothing with it. <laughs> can't do oh. nothing without it either. <laughs> Turn it off and put it on again. I'm an idiot. Take the cord. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We know. We know. Was, we know. <laughs> these these pre these previous sessions, I wasn't wearing any armor. <laughs> I just <laughs> eclipsed my armor, and my armor class went up. Does help. <laughs> Oh. I only have one day's worth of rations, so I need to buy three more days worth of rations. How much is that going to cost me? Uh, you should probably have... Yeah, you've got um, ten ration packs. Ten ration packs? Yeah, it says yeah. rations one day, and you've got ten of those one days. So, so oh, backpack. you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, so I'm good too. Yeah. Right. Um, just, some, just a point, Declan, as well. Uh, mage armor doesn't work if you have actual armor on. Right, but I have cast it at this point. If we don't do a long rest. Yeah, so mage armor, if you touch a willing creature who isn't wearing armor, they get, uh, yeah, protective field. 
Right. Yeah. Right, if, right, if you right, yeah. if you wear actual armor, mage armor just turns off. Just so you know, they don't stack. Anyway, okay. Right. So, are you but guys uh, heading out? Well, I guess we might as well do. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Not, I... not really anything keeping us here, is there? We have any? Maybe the manor trying to get rid of the coats here, but uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Let's go for let's something. Let's just hit the road, guys. Right. Um, are you going to ask Sildar to come with you, or are you going to head out on your own and leave him in town? Uh, we'll, we'll ask if he wants to join and see what his his his. Right. Let's see what he uh... wants to do there. So is this the Silda is going towards the orcs? Go, so Sildar's, Sildar's a helpful character in this this campaign, and he um he does want to find his friend, so he would definitely help you with that. But let's just see what he thinks about um the orcs. Right. Da -da -da -da. No. Um, Sildar would encourage you to keep up the pressure on the Cragmore Gold uh, goblins. He's, he's very much wants you to be heading in that direction. So he wouldn't be interested in a side quest to clear out some orcs. So he would definitely be staying in uh, Van Dalvin. Yep. Right, so we've got you on the main map. Yep. Let me just see if I can just reveal where you would be going. There we go. I wonder if I can put that on the other one. Right, so if I just put you on the bigger map that doesn't have everything marked on it. Grab you guys real quick. That is on the way. There we go. So as you guys, as Sildar, and you are essentially heading out to that purple X. There you go. So that is where Riven Tour is. Okay, so you, you're just heading out on the road, are you? <laughs> hey, look, guys. X marks the spot. Right. So, so it's, it's a, a day and a half each way. So it's yeah, a day and a half each way. So you would get roughly if you just. Yeah, you would get roughly, let's say, about there. So, if you just travel throughout the light, don't continue traveling in the dark, that's where we'd get to. So, um, just check in. You want to head out now. So, guys, I'm thinking we probably don't want to be in the hills. I'd say maybe, like, if we stop right right here, where I'm pinging, because um, it's going to be... Well, critters and stuff that we might have to deal with during the night. And then, if we're going to camp, then continue on. My, 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 my one cent worth. Yeah. Okay, so, just checking. So, you want to go roughly there. That, that's about how far you can travel in a day. If you want to do a forced march overnight, you can. But you take a point of exhaustion if you don't stop to rest each day. Yeah, we don't want that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking using the trees as cover, but the, the trees could be also where, you know, we, we might get jumped. Um, so yeah. It would make the most sense for me, anyways, to not push all the way and stop. Uh, before the hills in a decent time before yep. nightfall. Yeah, not, yeah, I, yeah. I was just thinking, just thinking, using the tree, just using the trees to the north. Yeah, you could certainly follow the trail and then camp in the forest if you wanted to try and hide. I mean, where are the exes now should be okay to me. Yeah, but if 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 this is a like if this is a road, I mean, what it kind is of? It's a trail, yes. So yeah, I, I mean, this yeah, can be a trail. We're off the side of the trail, so 
we're not gonna get too much bothered by traffic. I know all the cars and stuff driving by and all that. Uh, horse, horse drawn carriages and stuff, you know. <clears throat> it depends on how dense the grass is, I suppose. <laughs> it, it's well, completely we're not gonna up to be you. Right, like two feet away from the path. Come on, like we were gonna like a good fifty hundred feet away from the path or something. So it was not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, we're, we're happy to <laughs> stop at the Red X. Okay. So can um can two people roll me d twenties? Sure. Who else? I'll yeah. do it. Ooh, I'm on okay. it. Sixteen. That's one of them. And the seven. Sixteen and a seven. Right. Which is Okay. Encounter, you encounter a level 16 dragon and a yeah. level 7... Yeah, this is how Sarge wizard. does his sessions, isn't it? <laughs> roll! Roll again! You're fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Oh, look, there's a T-Rex. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, uh, I'm just going to roll another thing. Cause it's always fun with the DM. I cannot have another character die. That That's just not happening. Interesting. Right. Is there... So I'm just going to have to stop for one second. You fill while I just dump a map from a folder into Roll20. I'm messing I'm around with uh, Sirenscape, so the Twitchers might be uh, hearing some weird noises and uh, background music and stuff. That's normal. Okay, and we will go with... That sounds like someone's trying to sing. <laughs> I've got the radio in the background, it ain't me. That would be the Sirenscape, I believe. Come on, you can feel better than that. While I wait for this thing to upload. And what a time for a phone call. <laughs> Ah, it's not a phone call, it's an alarm to remind me to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Great song. Right, where are your characters? Here they are. On the map. Then. Chuck them on a map. <laughs> Which is on the layer. Slam dunk them. <laughs> right, uh, okay, well, we'll actually just move you across there. Right. Building maps in real time, guys. Pro level shit. Okay, so where's the thing you roll? Yeah, so the the tribal trail isn't exactly safe. Uh, you do know that because you got attacked coming down to to Falandin. and um, yeah, with some fantastic rolling there. Uh, you do actually encounter some people during the day as you're walking down this path. Let me just get prop layer. Um, who is... Is that on the token layer? Map layer, yeah. Right, who's actually is in the front? Is someone riding on Corby or are you all just walking keegledy piggledy Well, I'll, I'll walk. I'm not going to ride. I'm walking. <laughs> yeah, they're probably all walking behind me. Look at my big booty. With your booty. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about this. Uh, I don't know if I want to try riding Sarge again. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> right. Okay. So, as you are walking down the road, right, you suddenly get accosted by a small group of hobgoblins. So, these guys here, just hiding... I'm going to move a little further away. So, those guys there were just hiding just behind that ridge. As you pass, they um, they jump out and surprise you. So, roll me some initiative. Yay. Uh, Seventeen. Woo. Twenty-two. Nice. 
<laughs> Three. Someone's not going first. Four. Right, so... All on full health, I believe. What were you on, Colby? Is it 15? According to my uh, thingy, it's 15 or 15. With no spells currently. Besides right, what, cantrips. Would you have been walking in any particular order? I would not have been in front or back being um, a mage type. <laughs> I'm probably what the one in front going like, hey, you guys can walk faster than that. No, no, your, your, your walking speed is probably quicker than everybody's, all right? Uh, right, look. 40. Yeah, he <laughs> can't is. You got a 22, you got a 17, we got a 4 to a 3, and the guys that surprised you have rolled a goddamn 2. <laughs> 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 yeah. So basically, as you're walking along the road, right, you suddenly hear some, some voices, some low voices going, That looks like him. Hey, let's get him. Get him. And before, just as you're wondering what's going on, you see these people just jump over the uh, the top of this crag of the cliff. And again, you, you heard them. They weren't being very stealthy. So you're already reaching for your weapons before they even <laughs> did anything. Right? So, Synth, as these, these hobgoblins. And I wonder if they've got a picture I can show. Oh, three. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, what you see are hobgoblins. They're, they're, they look a bit tougher than regular goblins. The ones that you fought in the cave, right? This is definitely a goblinoid creature, but they seem to be wearing proper armor, right? They're not wearing scraps of leather. They actually have what look like metal plates on them. So something something makes you think that these ones aren't going to be an easy fight. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm I'm, I'm probably gonna die again. So if I get another character that dies, then so be it. Yeah, um, it. yeah I'm getting there. <laughs> um, so I s I have my charger, whether I'm out of things or not. Right, my charger's right. there. So what you have is um, blood malediction, which you get once per short rest. So actually, you'd have that back if you wanted to use it. That's where you take a little bit of damage, one d4 damage. But your blade catches on fire, and everything you hit, you do one d4 damage extra. So you've still got that, and I think your blood curse fallen puppet, you've probably used your once per day. I think it is. So okay, I need to look at what that one is. But you can um, you can use your charge ability at will. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to use my charge ability because why the hell not? Um, so which one do we want to go? Let's do this. I need to move in tempo in a straight line. I'll go... Yeah, that was, so I'm like, I'm going to go straight for him, and I'm going to hit him with my rapier. So let's You can certainly hit. try. That's a 13. Right, but what does your charge ability do? Uh, my charge ability, so charge, when you use the dash action... You can use a bonus action to make a melee weapon attack or shove a creature. If you move at least 10 feet in a straight line before using this bonus action, you either gain a plus 5 bonus to the damage roll if you choose to make a melee attack and you hit or push the target up to 10 feet away from you. Okay, so you, do, you would do extra damage. Now, these guys have got um, what looked like plate armor on, so a 13 is not going to do it. You charge up to him, try and stab him with your rapier, and it just kind of slides off the, the curve of the armor there. Uh, 
Um, and I can't. I, I moved my thing, so I can't move. But I'm locked in combat now. So there we go. Right, uh, Colby. That's my name. So <clears throat> you can see what you can see. He's charged in. He's swung, and the the armor just seems to to have held quite well. Yes, indeedy. So I am gonna whip out my crossbow and try and uh, put an arrow in the face of the guy that he's attacking. Um, certainly can. Right, just a bit of metagaming for everyone else out there who's watching this. Right, there are two things that you can generally do. So you've got your weapons, like the rapier, you've got your, your short bow, and you need to roll to hit, and you need to overcome their, their armor, which might be quite high. Now, spellcasters have fun spells like Sacred Flame, which just avoid armor completely, and they have to make a saving throw, which can be a lot better when someone's got high armor. Um, but you can certainly use your crossbow. So if you want to roll to hit... And also, I can't use that spell because I don't have any spell slots available at the moment. They're all used up. It's a, it's a cantrip. Hey, I, I, uh, I, I, I well, said let but I don't have them. Yeah, I was saying, let's do a long rest, but you guys are like, no, 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 we don't need to go, let's go. Oh, yeah, right, sacred, f yeah, okay, sacred flame, yeah, I got that one. But, well, we're going to try the crossbow first, because what good old things usually works, right? Roll to hit. Um, well, that was a 12. Well, you know you need more than a 13, that's for sure. Plus 5, so 17 to hit. Uh, is your dice showing up on screen, or have you not got your camera on? It is showing up on screen. Um, oh, sorry, Twitch screen. Yes. Okay, sorry. So, what did you roll? I rolled a twelve, and I got a plus five to hit. You miss. Seventeen misses. Holy shit. Seventeen misses. Well, that's a great big freaking warning shot right there. Yeah. So you, you again, you got your bow, right? You just pull your bow out aim right for the center mass and the, the arrow, the bolt just goes flying and it hits him in the center of his chest and the arrow just snaps in half as it does well shitballs and I am unable to do anything with cantrips at the moment because I used my action to fire the bow um I believe I will make a tactical retreat a little bit, because why not? not? <laughs> um, I'm a medic guy, so I'm gonna sneak a beagle right up back here somewhere. Okay, uh, Declan. Things aren't looking good for our friends. No. Now, you get spell slots back on a um, short rest, don't you, as a warlock? Or something I, along this, line. this is the first time I'm playing a warlock, so I don't know that I have to look that up. Um, Let's have a quick look. How do you uh, get spells? So I do think that is the one thing that Warlocks do, is just um, regenerate spells on a short rest. Yeah, because I know it, because my spells are because of my bond. But I'm trying to see. I'm... Yeah, that's it. You regain all expended packed magic spell slots when you finish a short or long rest. So you always cast at the highest level you can. You don't get many spell slots, but you get them back really quickly. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah, so you uh... have two spell slots available. Yeah, the rest yep. of us have to long rest to get them back. Yeah, and I, I did... All right, so then, uh, yeah, my I'm don't have the padded on. I took the padded off. I'm doing the mage armor, which um, is a at will touch. So, um, yeah, it lasts eight hours as well. So right, so I'm saying like you like to think, think that it. you were on the road and it was already on. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so uh, my turn. Do, 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 do. Give me a second here. Yes, I'm going to do... Uh, can't do that. I guess I will do a Witch Bolt. Interesting. 
So if you hit with that, right, if you manage to hit, then you don't have to roll to hit again. It just keeps going until the target is dead or you are. Right. Right, okay, so draw me a line. Who are you trying to witch bolt? I am... Do, 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 do. This guy. Okay. Roll to hit. Yeah, please, please, please. Hang on, that's not the right thing. Where am I? <laughs> witch bolt, here we go. Twelve. That's a swing and a miss, I'm afraid. Yup. What I will do, though, because I'm being generous, is let you roll with advantage, because they are wearing full metal armor. And that is a lightning-based spell. Which means the second roll? Yeah. How about a natural 20 on that one? <laughs> okay. And I thank you, Mr. D. <laughs> I think yeah. I'll take the 20 on the advantage. So you, you fire your witch bolt. You, you you do your whole unlimited power sort of thing. <laughs> the bolts of lightning just shoot out. And they look like they're going to miss him until you know, the lightning somehow remembers that he's made of metal and he's a giant lightning rod. <laughs> and they all just start latching onto him. Roll damage. So that's d12 doubled. 2d12. So it's 20 in damage. Ah, it's a lot of damage. Um, you, you you see him light up. You almost see his skeleton underneath <laughs> just as he's being shot <laughs> like it's some sort of cartoon. <laughs> uh, and this guy, he just... Smoke starts coming out from under his armor and his eyes roll back and he just collapses. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Crispy Critter dead or just, like, shut on his conscience? Oh, yeah, he's okay. got the eggs, so he's got to be dead. Yeah, he's dead. So, okay. <laughs> that's a big hit. Um, yeah, so you don't get to continue to concentrate on that, but that was a lot of damage. So you guys can take away from that 20 or less HP, more than 17 AC. Jeez. So, uh, they're, they're uh, armored, but they're, they're not very tough. So, so I'm going to try and push my luck here, Mr. DM. Having done that, would the other orcs go, oh my god, and run kind of thing, or? Um, I'm not orcs, I'm sorry, you said hobgoblins, but. Uh, not at this point. Okay. There is actually um, rules for doing that. Uh, oh, what's it? It's when um, when 50% of the group have been killed. There's oh, that's a right. That yeah, 50%. Yeah. Right. So this is only 25%. Okay. And then they have an escalating chance to maybe run away. Um, so, bonus action, if I may. Yeah. I'm um, going to... Is um, a telekinetic shove? Yep, on this guy. Oh, interesting. Right, so he needs to make a strength check, doesn't he? Uh, uh, do, 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 do. uh, um, let me see. My strength DC 13, yes. Strength against DC 13, or be moved five feet towards or away from you. Um, so, yeah, I was, uh, gonna push him five feet away from, uh, why am I not remembering name here? Synth. Synth, thank you. Yeah, we go. Okay, so these guys look a little strong. Uh, they're definitely st stronger than more dexterous. Let's have a look. And that is a 20. Not a nat 20, a dirty 20. So that guy, he's, he's not moving anywhere. But that's a good yeah. try. Yeah. Okay, and that is me for my turn. Right, that's not a bad turn. <laughs> right, Lazel. Have you been planning what you're going to do? I have. I'm going to go for the one that he's just killed the one next to him you're gonna to go to the one he's just killed and loot the body well i mean that's <laughs> a plan <laughs> i mean i can loot the body as well <laughs> i thought she was gonna animate dead or something <laughs> oh i'm gonna to go to the one next to him and i'm gonna get my mighty sword out okay your great sword so he is 30 feet away from you so you can just reach him there can i can i ask can i ask it off uh, question, please. What session are we on while, uh, while we're doing this? Um, you are on session three. Okay. There we go. Right. Lazel. So, you've got a great sword. You've also got an unarmed strike that worked well for you once. <laughs> not a lot of damage. Yeah, once. Not someone out with it. So, you're swinging your great sword, are you? I am. Right. 
And you've also, if you wanted to use it, have an action surge, which lets you attack for a second time. You get that back every short rest. Uh-huh. Okay, so, roll to hit. Okay, 14 to hit. Uh, 14's going to miss. Let's miss it. <laughs> They, they have got good AC, so this thing, you swing, and he just parries with his own longsword. Are you action surging, or are you saving it? I'm going to save it. Okay. Right, so I think that's you there, unless you think you've got any bonus actions or anything else you can do. No, nothing else I could do. Right, so now, it's the Hobgoblin's turn. So we've got one next to Lazel, one next to Synth. Right, so... They are going to take a swing with their longsword. So, first one on synth. We've got a 12. <laughs> Does that hit? I think your AC's a bit higher than that. Eagle? Uh, Eagle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am here. I'm trying to get the thing you're going to. So um, one's taken a swing at you. It's rolled okay. a 12. That is just going to bounce off my armor. Yeah, so you're dexterous, so you just avoid the, the swing expertly. Second one's going to be attacking Lazel. That is a 21. Damn. So I think your AC is quite high, but that bypasses that. That is... Let me see. They do actually have an ability. Uh, no. He can. Act, he actually has pack tactics. He gets a little extra if someone is next to him. Unfortunately, he's out there on his own because someone just killed his buddy. God. Mm-mm. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> that is four points of slashing damage that you need to take there. That's not bad. Well, it's about twenty-five percent of your health, so it's not not it's not good. <laughs> right. The other one. What do we reckon he's going to do? Let me just do this. So, got four people there. One, two, three, four. Right, he's going to make a, a charge at Declan. So, how far away is he? He was there. Yeah, you can just about make it. So, he's running towards you there, and he's going to take a swing. Does and, that, that's uh, a, and that's an eight. That's an eight. Does I, do I get a uh, free attack with that? or? Uh, no, I think you've got Hellish Rebuke. I do have Hellish Rebuke. But, but he missed, so you don't get to use that this turn. Okay, but he moved within five feet of me. Right. Uh, what ability are you thinking that you can use? What's the um, when they when they come within a range? Uh, if someone moves out of range, out of combat. Oh, out of range. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Opportunity attack. That's what I'm thinking. And you're right. You're right. It's out of range. Yeah. So this guy, let's say, if he moved like that, past Lazel, then yeah. Lazel would have got an opportunity attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I need we're, to, we're yeah. pretending he's done that because he's. I'm still working on my second cup of coffee here, so. <laughs> we're pretending he's done that because he's uh, smarter than that. Right. Okay. So. That's back up to, to Synth. So Synth, you've tried to hit him. Your friends have tried to hit these, and the only put the only thing that seems to be working so far is magic. Hmm. What are you doing? Um, I'm just gonna hit him with my rapier because that's all I have. You can certainly try. <laughs> bonfire. Oh, Gas would love a bonfire. <laughs> 22 to hit. Uh, 22 is gonna hit. I was just gonna ask you, um, you do have that Crimson Rite that you need to declare at some point if you do want to use it. Right, so 22, that's gonna hit. That's seven piercing damage. Right, so again, you, you manage to find like a little chink in his armor, like just under the shoulder or something, and manage to stab him. And he's looking a bit hurt, right? That definitely did some damage, but he's still up. So, you know, you might you might even say he's looking a little bloodied. <laughs> so is there anything else you can do, or are we leaving it at that? Uh, do I get two attacks? At this level, you only get one. Yeah. At level five, you start getting two attacks. Uh, I think that's it for me for now. Um, but right. can I can I can I prepare to do the crimson for my next go? Um. Yes. I mean, 
it, just as a as kind of house rule thing, the Crimson Rite, it's a bonus action, so yep. at any time you can use it, but ideally you want to use it before you roll to hit, because you can't yeah. just wait and say, now I've hit, so now I'm going to risk my health. Got to light your blade on fire first and then try and hit someone. Yep. But, but that would have done an extra D4 damage. Who knows? Maybe he would have gone down. Maybe yeah. he wouldn't. He'd be he's definitely he's looking bloodied, so his health is. Health is yeah, may, maybe hard. I should have, maybe I should have done it the other way around. I'm just reading it, um, and I can't seem to get the thing he started. I don't know what's going on, so yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So Colby, what are you doing? You've seen you've seen Declan take one down. He's definitely looking like the threat here. So one of these guys has just run up to try and kill him. Lazel's holding her own. Um. Synth is starting to make some some progress there. What are you doing? Good. Uh, just made sure I was within range of my sacred flame, which is 60 And you feet. also have a charge attack, don't you? Yes, I do. But I believe... What was that thing? Yeah, you're going to get into combat to, do. to get a starting one. Right. Uh, Sarge oh, created yeah. a character that gets extra attacks because he likes to metagame. <laughs> oh, sure, blame me. Okay. Uh, while I try to figure that one out, I'll do Sacred Flame on. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, mati, matamasa. The one who's going to kill Declan, the one who's taking a little damage, the one who's going to kill Lazel. You know what? That's going to uh, kill me. I'll you trust I'll, I'll Do you know how squishy you are? I'll, I'll try this one arrow out on the main road thing. To, to okay. see what it does. Okay, so he has to roll what? Is it dexterity? Constitution? <clears throat> Sacred Flame is... Sick. Target must succeed dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 radiant damage. Right, so Sarge there. He kind of holds a little necklace around his, his neck, kind of closes his eyes and prays to his god. You know, what is your god in this, anyway? Have you chosen one? Uh, don't know. <laughs> but, um... Mm, uh, I'm naturist kind of god. <laughs> we'll, we'll find one, but he prays to his little god, you know, please give me the strength! And it's just divine lightning kind of comes down shooting towards this guy he has to now try and jump out the way before it's struck and he's not going to do anything with a what's that plus with a seven so that is definitely going to hit him <laughs> so that means i get to roll a 1d8 or yes yeah, you're all 1d8 seven oof what is you guys rolling so uh, that's a time. that's a little bit more than Eagle did there. So he's still up. Definitely, they've got more than seven points. Actually, it's the same that Eagle did seven. So he's still up. He's looking bloodied though. Good. Right. So are you are you doing anything else? Are you charging, or are you just hanging back and keeping safe? I am hanging back because I'm medic, and also I'm trying to find another thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then yeah. I, I guess Declan, you're up. Declan is up. Declan, Declan you've got, you've got a hobgoblin in your face. Yeah. He's tall. He's armored. You've just got. He's just slavering. It's kind of roaring. Your bits of spittle are just going in your face as he raises his longsword, ready to attack you in seconds. It's tricky for wizards when people get close combat. A lot of people well, choose shocking grasps so they can stun them and run away. I, well, see, I'm thinking... I don't have shocking grasp, but I'm thinking... Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like you can choose it as well. It's uh, not yeah. a warlock option. But, I mean, I've got the mage hand where I can or the, do the telekinetic shove... Yeah, if you could shove him, you could definitely then try and reposition yourself. Tactical. Um, give me one. I, I, give me one. Second. I'm thinking of a plan here. 
<laughs> I found a smoke burning. Okay. And I don't think Toll the Dead needs um I don't think Toll the Dead has disadvantage because it's a uh, it's not a one you fire. It's just a condition, just like right. Um, but that and that's see, that's what I was going with. I'm going to do Toll. I was going to do Toll the yeah. Dead. Because Eldritch Blast would be a disadvantage because ranged attacks at uh, close combat are disadvantaged. But Toll the Dead is not a ranged attack. It just it's like Sacred Flame. It just right. does. Cool. So that's the, that's what I was saying. Toll the Dead on him. Okay, so he has to make to a. I'm sorry. He has a wisdom save against thirteen. Right. These guys aren't very wise, but he rolls so, a seventeen. So obviously, does he get not a negative wise. on his wisdom? Does, does he get a wisdom <laughs> negative? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to have quite a bit of negative. Now he's he doesn't hear a bell. He doesn't hear that bell. So you try and yeah. toll the dying, but you don't quite forgot, manage to, yeah. to get the I words out. The packaging out of it, so it just goes tick tick. Lays um, out. Oh, you've still got your option to shove if you want. Yeah, I'm going to shove. Right, so he's going to make strength DC 13. Okay, he fails that. It's a 10. What happens? I, I, he is going f five feet this way. And do I get an attack of opportunity? Sarge, we, we looked at this. He doesn't for shoves, does he? Uh, hmm. Well, I mean... If it's not the one that's currently active that's, that has someone being shoved away from, then it should be, but I don't know if it becomes an attack of opportunity oh, so if, if, I it, shove, if you're the one that's doing the shoving. So if I shove this guy successfully, then uh, Sif would get the attack of opportunity, but since it's this guy, I don't. I don't know, I can't remember shit anyways. <laughs> Yeah. Um, according to the internet, uh, no is the answer. So okay. Not... That, that, yeah. No, nope, that's cool. That's cool. I got him out of my face. Right. So now you have the opportunity to move if you want without <laughs> triggering an opportunity attack against you. Right. Oof. Get a breath mint. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's like, I can't move far enough away, but I can move behind Sarge. Yeah. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> Run away! Oh. Yeah, but I gotta, I'm, I'm worried about line of sight, though. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, no, no, that's fine. Come right down there. here. Come down here, and I'll put my hand on you and give you a blessing or something. Uh, I'm gonna go, like, right here. Okay. And that, that would be me. Lazel. Mm-hmm. So you got a guy in front of you. You've tried to attack him. It's not gone well. And he's mm -hmm. managed to take a chunk out of you. What are you doing? I'm going to unarm strike him. Okay. It's an Seems interesting choice, enough. but it's yours to make. Right. <laughs> Roll to hit. Basically, I'm going to break my fist on his armor. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's got the same uh, chance to hit. But instead 21 of, to hit. It's going to hit, but you would have done 2d6 plus 3. So maybe 15 points of damage. Uh, you're going to do 4 points Whatever. of damage flat. So... So he's going to take four points of bludgeoning damage. He's going to be pissed off. Yeah. So you just At least I hit him. him. Just bop in his it's face. True, 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 true. You did, yeah, you hit him. He is not bloody. Right, okay. So, uh, it's back around to the Hobgoblin. So the first one is going to take a pot shot again against uh, Synth. That's a 15 this time. Uh, Eagle? Uh, 15 will hit is my AC. Right, now, he doesn't have a friend next to him, so that's just two points of slashing damage. The other one's going to take a, a punt at Lazel. Roll. That's a 13. Don't and misses. <laughs> and the last one, he's going to run up here. And I think he's just going to chase... Yeah, he's going to chase Declan. So he's going to take an attack at Declan. And that's a miss. Right, so that's their go. So again, Declan, he's just trying to run you down. Yep. Synth, what are you doing? Eagle. So, I am gonna do my Crimson Rat, because why the hell not? Okay, so roll me a d4. Oh. Four. Four. 
That's a two. So you take two points of damage, but now you're going to do, for the rest of two short rest, you're going to do an extra d4. So what, what kind of elemental damage goes on your sword, do you remember? You had to choose an element when you started this. I believe it's thunder. I'm just going to check it out right now. Lightning damage! Yeah, so you do electric damage with that. Right, yep. roll to hit. That's just not going to work. No, it's a swing and a miss. The, the armor of these guys is just too tough for your ten. Again, you, you were too busy just putting your hand on your blade and just covering it in blood to, to bother attacking properly. So again, swing and a miss. Uh, that takes you down to, to Colby. Who's now almost in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, almost, almost. Uh, I am going to sacred flame the crap out of this guy again. I want to see him burn. <laughs> okay, so he's got to make a dexterity saving throw. That so again, you, you don't even notice he's run over. Your eyes are closed, you're still praying to your god, you know, give me the power. <laughs> and uh, dexterity saving throw, that's a 13 he gets. Which means Come on. So is it 13 or better, or better than a 13? Uh, I think... Uh, 12, think actually. Oh. I do believe Sacred Flame attack safe is dex 12, so he... So you need to you needed to invest a little bit more in your wisdom. You could have knocked your intelligence down there and buffed that a little bit. No. <laughs> so that's not enough. Uh, if it was um, if it was Declan doing this, uh, he would have failed. I think because Declan I think is thirteen's your DC. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he's fine. He's not going to be fooled by that trick again. You know, this divine lightning just comes down, but he dodges out of the way. Yeah, you got lucky this time. And I can't. I don't have any more actions yeah, you, then. So, ba -ba 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 -boom. yeah, you can't charge now because he's in. You know, he's not yeah, far enough in my there. face. Okay, uh, Declan. Uh, can I don't know if I my guidance. That's a action also. It, it's an action. Yeah. Ah, crap. So I can't even give my buddy here action. No. Oh well. No, nah, it's just healing words and um. The charge attack of your bonus actions. Uh, so it takes us to uh, Declan. Not, not even healing word because healing word is a level is first level spell. Yeah, because you can't do right now. And I'm out of spells. <laughs> Declan. Yeah, next one. I, I, I'm 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 gonna elder splash him. Uh, okay, that'll be a disadvantage because he's at uh, he's in melee range. Okay. Okay, but roll uh, to hit. 23. A 23 will and hit if you don't roll any worse. you got to roll your second time for the disadvantage. Eight. It's going to be the eight, because it's a disadvantage, so an eight's not going to do it. All so right. again, you're just running away, throwing Eldritch Blasts over your shoulder, just completely <laughs> missing. Yeah, Mage Hand, or Telekinetic Shove. Right. 17. So you should survive that one. Yep. Uh, that takes us down to Lazel. Okay. I'm great sword in this ass in front of me. Roll to hit. Ooh, 18 to hit. 18. We'll do it. Yay. So that's 2d4 plus 3, I believe. 11 points of great sword damage yeah uh, with that you just kind of cut this guy in half so again your your blade just comes straight down into his shoulder and kind of sinks halfway into his chest as you just put your foot on him and pull your blade right back out again as he drops to the ground dead payback okay so yeah right uh, what are you doing Lysel? you can move You've still got your bonus actions. So you can still action surge. You can second wind. You can loot. <laughs> That's an action, though. You need to ah. action surge to loot. <laughs> well, knowing her. <laughs> you mean knowing her? <laughs> uh, 
but I'm going to move out of the way a little bit. Okay, so where, where are you moving to? Yeah, so you can move there. Um, are you action surging, or are you just um, leaving that for now? Uh, I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, so um, just roll something. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there's a long sword going in Eagle's direction. That's a crit. Eagle. Uh, is that a crit fail by the chance? That, that's, a, that's a crit hit on you. Oh, ouch. Okay, hmm, but right. how much? Oh. Okay, so you take... Oh, oh. That, let me just see, did that add the crit damage? No, okay. So that is going to be 14 points of slashing damage. Wow. What does that take you down to? Two. And I don't have any health. Right, so you're on two points of health, right? Yep. So you're just hanging in there. The second one is going to take um, another... Well, it's going to change targets now, because this sacred flame just keeps buzzing at him. He's going to, he's going to hit Corby. And that's uh, oh, 10. That's going to do nothing. Right, so that's their turn. So, uh, back to Synth. So you're, you're barely holding on, Synth. But this guy's looking pretty bloodied as well. You think if you could just hit him, you could maybe save your life. Yep, yeah, I am. I'm definitely going to very much hit him with my rapier. It's still... That, so I still get the extra damage. You'll get the extra damage if you can hit him. Come on! <laughs> a swing and a miss. Oh, Eagle's in trouble. Um, I, can't even, I can't even put the dice in jail. That's why, that's why you need to roll those physical dice you've got. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, Colby, what are you doing? You've got one guy in front of you. You've got whatever's going on with um, Synth. What are you doing? I am... Dum 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 thinking um i can't long range heal or anything but um what i can do uh, is beep, 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 beep. well i can reach that guy way the hell over there with sacred flame so i think that's what i'm gonna do see if i can crispy critter the one, the one over over by eagle Okay, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Yep. Ah, that's a 17. So he is, ah. he is still fine. That guy is holding on. Uh, I don't think you've really got any bonus actions, so unless you're going to move, that takes us down to yep. Declan. Declan. I know, I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. That's a new. We can hear that. Hear all the rusty co cocks just go. I, yeah. So, so uh, DM, your crit to hit was uh, those uh, was, was that a natural twenty? I am taking notes for because um, the thing's not working. Uh that was a natural twenty. So I will change that to two. Thank you very much. I will uh, I will be passing these on to Q Gas Q. Uh, because the thing doesn't seem to be working, and it's not around right now. Well, so un unless you've got people crit winning and s recording who's doing that, I uh, I'm making a note of how many crit wins and crit fails we get. Okay, and right. Then go, then go oh, so oh, yeah, I I had a I had a natural twenty roll earlier as well. So. Yeah, I, I I got that one. Okay, so Declan, what what are you doing? I'm uh, he's in my face. I'm I'm pulling out both my hand axes and swinging at him. Go and for I, it. Do, I do have dual wield, so. Okay, so roll to hit with the first one. Uh, nineteen. That is going to hit. Okay. So roll Damn damage. It. Six. Uh, how do you want to do this? I'm hitting him in the head, the least armored place. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there's a great scene when someone does that in uh, Bravehearts. You literally just go. Doosh. And this axe is just buried in his head as he just falls to the ground dead. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, he'd already taken quite a big hit there from um, from Corby. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so he didn't yeah. have a lot of health. Um, uh, are you moving? Uh, 
I'm gonna bonus action first. I'm pushing him. Oh, pushing the other guy. Yep. Right. Okay. So he's gonna make a strength check. That's an he's eight. So what? He's pushed he five feet back or ten feet? Uh, I'm gonna push him as hard as I can, far away from him as I can. Yep. Okay. So now he's slightly out. Uh, Lazel, what are you doing? Uh, does Sif get is Sif down? I don't remember. No, oh. he's not down. He should be getting he's gonna, attack yeah, by opportunity. Oppor- yeah, attack by opportunity. Uh, no, f- I don't think it's for the shoves. I think it's when they leave combat as they turn their back and they run away. Not when they're shoved back because they're still facing you. Oh, okay. I will look at it again in more detail, but the, the internet said no. Okay, no, 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 that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Right, but he's slightly out, so, uh, Lazel, what are you doing? Now he's shoved him out of the way, it means I've got to move. Um, yeah, you could just about make it. <laughs> but what, what are you doing? I am moving down the square so I can hit him with my crossbow. Okay, so you're taking a crossbow attack at him. So. Yes. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, nineteen uh, to hit. Nineteen is going to hit. Five points of damage. Um. Yeah. Uh, with that, it, it finds its purchase, nails him in his chest, and uh, this guy goes down. Come on. Squished. He's squished. He is squished. Yeah! Right. Started off slow, but ended the way we needed. <laughs> oh, Eagle, you're looking you're looking crispy. Yes, I am very much looking crispy. And you've used uh, all your hit dice for today. But and... Oh, how many hit points does he have? Two. Two. Oh, I was in. Uh, I can't do anything. You have to be zero here. Let me punch him in the nose, and then I'm. Oh. <laughs> <It's> stabilizing. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the, these hobgoblins obviously tried to ambush you. Didn't really work out for well for you for them. Um, in terms of loot, they all have long swords. They all have long bows. Uh, they're wearing chain mail. They have shields. And if someone wants to give me an investigation check. They said they were in plate. Uh, they've got a high AC. It's chain mail and a shield, according to the the thing in brackets. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking one That's for a nineteen. Nineteen. Oh, nineteen on investigation. Right. So who got hit? Uh, I threw. I threw a one before he did the nineteen. I got a thirteen. Did Wrong everybody one. get hit beside me? Or <laughs> um, I don't think I took a hit. I got swung at, but I never got hit. He tried. Yeah. Right. Can I use channel divinity preserve life? So just one second. I'm just trying to find something first. Yep. No problem. Right. Loot and dice rolls. Where are we at? So who were the high rollers there? Uh, I got a 19. I got a 13. Right. Okay, so, uh, Declan, uh, as you're looking around, you managed to find in the pocket of one of the hobgoblins a small vial of venom. Oh, okay. Which I think classes itself as poison. Let me just mm-hmm. check that in the handbook. Shame it wasn't a healing potion, eh? Well, sometimes poison can be turned into healing. <laughs> yeah, so you can treat that as a, a a vial of basic poison. Okay. Right, and eagle. Yeah, sorry, one sec. Um... Yeah, an eagle, you find out a small pouch with uh, 25 gold pieces in it. Ooh. We go. Okay, so, um, with that, you guys um, get yourselves together, 
head out for the day. Take a lot of care, because again, you can't really short rest anymore. That is where I can be in, I think. I'll Hang be honest. On. Healing, yeah. um, that's, that, that's, that's all we got on them? Right, so channel divinity. Trace, did you take a hit? I took one, yeah. How much you down? I'm 14 out of 20. Okay. And I know Eagle is like on death's door. Yeah, pretty much, very much close to death's door yet again. And I do not want to lose another character. Uh, Not yet. His finger is poised at the doorbell. (laughs) Yeah, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, if DM allows, is to cast Channel Divinity, which is a special that I can. I give 10 hit points, and I can divvy them out among the three uh, others in the group. Yep, you get to to choose who you want to give those to. And I can do it within 30 feet, so they don't have to stand in my face. So I'm going to give eight. Uh, eight Dex didn't get hit, so don't worry about giving me any. Yeah, that's what uh, I know. That's why I'm saying I'm I'm giving eight to Eagle and two to Trace. So they get a little up in the health department again. And I I can use that once per short rest. So don't go making any more mistakes. <laughs> okay. Right. The ten. That takes me back up to ten. Thank you. That 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 helps. I'm not. Why? Well, I'm 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 half. But yeah. Better than nothing, or almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, better than what I was on. Yes, very much or so. New new character creator screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, back of the main map. So you got about halfway there. Some uh, had a little bit of excitement, but the rest of the journey to your campsite uh, is uneventful. Um, right. Can I take? Can I? Can I? Can I grab? I don't know if it's going to help me or not. But can I take? If, if it's going to help me, can I take a shield? Um. Yes, you can take a shield. Will it help my AC? Um. You. If you had the shield on, it would help your AC, but just one sec. There is an interaction there for you. I don't think one sec's going to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, your charge ability um, only works if you're not charge ability. It's your... Uh, where is it now? Features traits. <laughs> He's using Thunderbolt instead of USB-C. There we go. So, you've got a fighting style called dueling. So when you are wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapon, uh, you gain a plus two to your damage rolls with that weapon. Yep. Oh, it says weapons. Um, Yeah, no, you should be able to hold a shield, I think. I'll double check that, but yeah, I think you can. Anyway, I'll double check that later. But, um... Yeah, so you can certainly take a shield and uh, add that. Yeah, I will add in inventory, manage inventory, put it in the backpack for now. Yeah, and because you're a human, you are proficient with shields. Because for some reason, not everyone is. Declan, for instance, is not proficient with a shield. Yeah. Okay, right. So, made it to your short rest point. It's your short rest, you had your campsite. Camp down for the night. You can all take a long rest. Yes, please. Right, and if we just take a five-minute break, just while I set up the next bit, and uh, we'll see what happens when you wake up. Wow. All right, cool. I'm going to go upstairs. I'll be right back. Right, transition screen, if you would, Mr. Sarge.
have returned. <laughs> right, so everyone needs to remove one of their ration packs. So you've spent one day traveling, so now you've gobbled up all your food, and you know, if you don't get back to town in the next nine days, you might starve to death. Well, there's fresh hobgoblin on the ground, right? Well, if you're not picky. I'm not picky. This ishtic flesh. With right. the right marinade, it's like pork. <laughs> sure, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. Ooh, I just had a fart. Where did we That's eat the wolves? Ah, they must be back in town. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure they're fine. Still, no, I'll be taking care of them. They got, the some, uh, they got someone in there to munch on. <laughs> the wo yeah, say so the wolves are fine, but the town might not be. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Sarge, can you roll me a d20? Eagle, can you roll mm -hmm. me a d20? Ah, a 10. 1 0. A 6. Okay. We will see whether that does a thing. All right. So you guys, you wake up. You feel well, well rested. Eagle feels a bit safer behind his shield, which we will double check on. Um, what are you doing? You turning back, or are you um, you going the last little bit to try and find this uh, this encampment in Riven Tour? As well push forward. Should we see if these guys had a camp nearby that we can maybe loot? Uh, that could be a bad idea because, um, yeah, there, there, there may be more. Um, That's what he's hoping for. Yeah, but I'm not. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, got, got a point. Let's push on. Okay, so everyone wants to, to push on onwards to the to whereabouts Riven Tour is. Assuming so. I haven't heard anything from Trace now, but yeah, I'm not going to say so. Yeah. Yes, we're I'm, follow I'm following you, look. Okay. So, head off the trail now. Out into the plains and out into the, the lower mountains. So, just go back to the description there. So, Riven Tor, right, the crag is a prominent landmark in the rugged hills northeast of the Swordwind Mountains. It's easily visible from 20 miles away, so as you're coming in... You can see this giant crag, so you know you're going to the right place. Um, da. Okay, so the tour was formerly the home of a, a large and dangerous nest of rivens, which is kind of a dragon-like thing, but a band of adventurers dealt with the monsters years ago. Uh, though the, the rivens never returned, other creatures lay here from time to time, which is what the orcs are doing. Uh, okay, so what I need you guys to do... Yes, yeah, so what I need you guys to do is to roll me. I mean, you 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 found roughly the area, like the mesa. You don't know exactly where the cave is. So, how would you, as a group, try and find this cave? Uh, see with my eyes. I'm sure, I'm sure we'd see the opening cave. So you're you're having a good look around. Is anyone else? How how would someone else try and find this cave? <clears throat> Well, maybe if we could uh, see from the eyes of a bird flying high above or something, but I don't think I have that skill. I'm looking for tracks. <laughs> okay, <another> so... <laughs> right, so, Eagle, give me a perception check, and Declan, give me a, a survival check. That's a seven. That's shit. Eagle, you, you can't see a cave, you can't see any smoke... You, you just see rocks, really. And that's a 13 from me. Right. Uh, what Declan does notice is um, what looks like a slightly worn track that seems to wind into the hills. As, as a group of you follow this track, you eventually come to what looks like the, the mouth of a cave carved into the side of the mountain. Guys, you... I found a cave here. Right. What? So, as, as, you, as you head up towards this cave, the faint smell of smoke hangs in the air. Uh, as... da, 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 da. Okay, so the cave, by the way, is slightly up the hill. So, the, you've the, the, the faint smoke of, 
Uh, the faint smell of smoke hangs in the air as you ascend this rugged little hill. Right, 50 yards away from you is a cave mouth. Now, and that is at the bottom of... What the hell? Are you going up a hill to the bottom of a ravine? This is not... Anyway, so there's a cave mouth anyway. And as you look into the mouth of the cave, you can see hunkered down by a boulder about 20 yards outside of the cave, keeping watch is a single orc. So you think you've found the right cave. You can see an orc there. Right, you're about 50 feet away at this point. Uh, what are you doing as a group? I'll go first because I have dark vision. Right, it's not dark at the moment, but in the cave that might be useful. <laughs> so, you're you're heading up the front. You guys being stealthy, or you guys just charging in? Oh no, stealthy! Okay. Stealthy if we can. For yeah, five hundred, well Alec. Okay, so um, Sarge and Lazel, <laughs> both, Corby and Lazel are both at disadvantage. But yeah. um, what what are you going to do? So you're being stealthy to do what? I say you can. You've got. You've got a cave opening. You can see... In fact, let's, let's put you on a map here. That might help. <laughs> Ooh. Now let's all get you back to full health. Yeah, so... You can see a cave opening. You're a little bit further back than... Well, actually, how far away are you? Yeah, let's move you one further back. <laughs> him one further back. So, you can see there's a boulder right there blocking part of this... Yeah, so this is whole thing is a ravine. There's a cave in the background. There's a rock just there. There's a, an orc looking like he's a lookout. And I know it looks like you're just in front of him standing there out in the open, but you're, you're gonna try and be a little stealthier. But what are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, look, trying to old. be stealthy to surprise him? Trying to be stealthy to sneak past him? What, what are you trying to do? Um, do a sneak attack with uh, with the crossbows. I like that idea. <laughs> right, so you all want to line up with bows and just let loose a volley at this guy. I think maybe we should like hide in an ambush, and one of us kind of like staggers like they're hurt and uh, like uh, no like uh, <clears throat> like uh, and, and just totally unaware of the situation and kind of like just stagger in front of the cave and try to draw him out thinking, ooh, you know, easy target, easy food, and take him out out here. That's also an option. And thanks for volunteering to be the staggering one. Your idea. I right. was thinking he was going to send me then. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking that we could draw straws, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll just, let me cut, let me cut uh, Corey and get some blood so I can smear blood on me and, uh, <laughs> okay, so, first of all, can people give me some... Can everyone give me a stealth check, as a group, to see whether or not you can even try this plan? Okay, and since with disadvantage, I get to roll two of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rolled a really crappy. Roll a four. Eh, uh, nine, so nine is the worst one, so... Eleven for me on the stealth. So I would be the best candidate. <laughs> Lazel. Two for me. Two. Hey, I'm actually seeing your rolls now. This is amazing. <laughs> My roll was shit, though. You really are in the campaign. That's a nat one, guys, for stealth. Oh, my God. Really? Right. Uh, yeah, I, was, I... I was going to be nice, but with that, right, you, you talked about this plan, right? And with that, let's, let's say you're all up on the Mesa here. And uh, there you go. And you're talking, right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, um, to sneak out. And then Lazel just trips and falls down the, the side of that in front of him. So you guys are just out of sight, right, <laughs> hidden for now. And Lazel mm. has just stumbled out right in front of the orc. So that's what we're going to kick off. Well, Lazel. No, no broken Dad. bones or anything? <laughs> Quiet. She's, t she's <laughs> tough. She's tough. Right. Okay. I've got armor on. So this this orc is just worse. this orc, and by the way, orcs are pretty big. You know, it's like seven foot. It looks like oh, he's halfway to being an ogre, to be honest. So this huge orc just looks at you with with a look of complete surprise and bafflement on his face, right? Well, you have seconds until he makes a decision. 
because he is he's a bit slow being an orc. He's not very very intelligent. So, Lazel, what are you going to do? <laughs> after regaining my composure after that drastic entrance, yeah, shoot your crossbow at him. Okay, roll for initiative. Right. I assume that means all of us. Yeah, some people might might talk, but others, you know, we diplomacy is done with a knife. Three. And there you go, guys. Yeah, hang on, I lost my mouse. There it is. Okay, you said initiative. Uh, 19 for Declan. Oh, crap. They got a Hulk. <laughs> they have a troll cat. <laughs> they have a cave troll. Grateful, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Did okay. he tell you like, bigger all of a sudden? No. Uh, I was just thinking about that, uh, that movie. We have Lord an army. Rings. We have a Hulk. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay, so you, you can see... I, I think I just shared a picture of... You can see this orc. He's not wearing metal armor, chain mail like the other guys. He's wearing more, you know, scraps. So, you know, he's maybe not as, as armored, but he still looks big, hulking, and tough. Right? Definitely not intelligent, but big and tough. You can see that he appears to be... appears to have a great axe strapped to his back, which um, he very much looks like he's about to, to grab. Right? So... Declan, you saw Lazel lose her footing, and we were quick enough, quick enough to do something before anyone else takes an action. What are you doing? I'm I mean, you, you can see Lazel, right, in your head, you can see Lazel is not the one to talk, right? If you don't do something, she's probably going to pick up a something and attack. What are you doing, Declan? Um. Um. Um, We've broken I, Declan. I, I, no, because he's I, he's an orc. He's not gonna like you know. Oh, help us! Oh, okay, I'll come help you. And he's you know, I, I in the words of Matt Mercer, you can try. <laughs> you can always try. <laughs> um, all right, hand, 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 hand. Give me a, well, give me a second. Okay, I just see. Wait, wait, wait. We do you have any what? healing? We can pay you. Okay. Um, roll me. Probably deception. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, so he needs to roll against you with his insights. Which, let me just check his character sheets. Well, like you did say, he's not too bright. He's not too bright, so he needs to outdo a 12 with negative score, and that's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so Declan, Declan, he gambits, and the, the orc looks at you, and he just blinks for a second, and he turns around, and he starts running. Away or towards? He's running down there. And y you can see he's, he started shouting. He started shouting, you know, Intruders! Intruders! <sighs> and he, he just kind of stopped there at the cave mouth, waving his axe and shouting in. Uh, that's his turn. Well, shit. So who's up now? Guess who? Uh, 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 crap. Damn it, I that, knew I should have just fucking that, zapped that, him. That, 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 that's no good thing. That's not good. Um, and we don't know how many he's going to come out with, so... Ugh. Part of me wants to say tactical retreat and GTFO, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and the other part wants to say get in there and kick his ass and take uh, all the others out. Whatever's coming. I don't know. What do you people think? Well, you've got about six seconds. It's your go. And unless you want to talk and then wait for someone else to respond on their go. Uh, because um, you're on initiative, so you can you can suggest something. Uh, yeah, you, you would use your turn to wait and see. I can't even hit him because there's a freaking boulder in the way. 
80 feet is too far away from crap. So you I say that. You move You move pretty damn far. Yeah, I can... If I go next to a woman, then I'm within range for my magical stuff. All right. I got more. Uh, crap, 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 crap. There's a charge to kill. Did I lose you guys or nope? No, we, we broke okay. Sarge. Nope. I'm gonna throw guiding bolt at him. He's got a hundred and twenty okay. hundred and twenty feet range, so Alright, and if that I, hits if him, hit. it means the next attack has advantage, right? Beep. Uh Yeah, yeah, so it does range yeah, okay. spell attack. On hit, target takes 4d6 radiant. Uh, next attack roll made against the target before the end of my next turn has advantage. So basically, oh. anyone trying to hit him until my next turn will get advantage on hitting him. As far as I can read from this. Seems about um, right. Yeah, I think it's just the one one attack, but the first person to hit him, you know, uses it's going to be an advantage. Right. Yeah, okay. D so D move, move where you got moved. Yeah. What? Move to where you need to move to to hit him. Mm, should be. Um, so you were saying a flash of light streaks towards the creature. So, I mean, it's only got to be within range, unless I uh, need me in there. But what do you think? Yeah. It usually, if you if you have to see it, it usually tells you that you have to see it. Now, it doesn't say a creature you can see or a creature, so I'm going to say, yeah, it just has to be yeah. in range. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like a home, homing signal thing, maybe. Yeah, it, it's a well, guiding bolt. I'll, I'll yeah. give you that. We'll see what Roll happens. Roll to hit. That is 10 plus 4. So 14? Oh, do you think 14's going to hit? No. Probably not. It hits! The AC is not... They don't have plate armor on. They they are scrap metal. They, they look a bit scrappy, naturally armor. That's gonna hit him. Sweet. <laughs> uh, that means I need forty sixes. One second. Uh, I get those. I get those. I think Sarge is enjoying playing a magic cast. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's a good one. 18 damage. Jesus Christ. Out of out of 24. A possible 24. 18 at. Yep. 5, 5, 5, and 3, so that's like 3 times 6. That's well, the, guy, the guy's got some health on him, but not that much. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> he just, he just he's engulfed in radiant flame. As he just kind of screams and claps it to the ground, he's just going, Intruders! Intruders! And he just falls over, just burning. But you do hear a, a lot of movement coming from the other direction. So, how first? <laughs> yeah. Do so you, you hear movement? Yeah, well, that was uh, unavoidable, but at least we got one big baddie out of the way. And... Well, guys, I think you need to prepare yourself because I don't know what's coming, but it's probably not good. Okay. Um, and that guy is down. Right. Um, Synth. <laughs> Talk about a good roll. <laughs> what are you going to do, Synth? You can charge in. You could hold an action. You can... S run away and hide? There's no one saying you need to take this fight? Mm. My thing's still there, so... Uh, it's not because you had a long rest, it's until you rest. You have to take the damage again if you want to relight your blade. But again, if you want, you can always hold an action. So, but we didn't say we were doing long rest? Uh, you camped overnight. Okay, so long rest, yeah. That's now max up to 20, thank God for that. Um, I 
So you also have your ability to puppet someone back as well. But yeah, so you can either move, see if you can see someone, try and attack, or you could hold an action. Or you could Ooh. run away, you could hide. Um, Just to, to name a few things. Find a piece of shrubbery and get behind it. Well, I, w I was get, thinking get about... Get a blanket and throw it over Lazel. Oi. I was actually contemplating... Um... Yeah, and obviously there is still a, a giant boulder covering half of the entrance as well. Could take cover behind that. Yeah, I think we'll... We shall move up and take cover behind the boulder, I think, okay. if I haven't... Can you, can you make it with your movement? Mmm... <laughs> Not well, that, quite. that does cover you for quite a bit because it means someone's going to have to roughly be if you think the boulder's blocking right and you're there yeah, pretty, much, pretty much everyone in that area won't be able to see you yeah it's all so up we'll, to you we'll move there um, I can't do the thing either. That's what I'm. That's what I'm uh, looking at. What range that is? I have to touch him, right? Uh, which when you say touch him, what do you think? What are you thinking of? I was trying. I was thinking about con um using my blood curse on the um. Oh, just gone down. Um, popping him. Yeah. Um, I don't think. That's like, because you could use it, but because you can't see anyone else to attack, it'd be a bit of a waste. Yeah. Because it's your reaction, he goes down, and you use your reaction to make him attack one of his friends. You could use it, but you'd just be swinging at air. Not if I'm going to try and block the... get him to move. Like, if I can puppet him, maybe, you know, get him to lay in the way or something. I'll say, now, that's interesting. So... Let me just look at this, because you can use his movements. Mm. You can use half of his movements. Right, so if you if you puppet him, and yep. you take the hit, you amplify it, so you take a little damage, he can move 15 feet. So you could move him somewhere along here. So not quite far enough to block that. But um, um, What about the other way? So trying to block the, where they're coming from. So, um, they, fall, so they fall over him, basically. Yeah, you could certainly try. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you got also have to think, you know, in your head, if there was someone on the ground in front of you, could you jump over them? Um, we'll save it, I think. It's, well, it's, you it's, could it's, either make him roll for it. Maybe one of them would trip. Who knows? <laughs> um, we, we had a we had a really funny one once where JD jumped and managed to fall over, smack into someone, knock them down the stairs, and half kill his friend. Oh, and then um, someone fell on top of him. He was hilarious. <laughs> he can't use him uh, to see through him, right? He can't see through him. It's a puppet. Yeah. Um, but it's it's an interesting idea. Um, yeah, we will we will do that actually. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. So I need to do the right. So he needs to be within thirty feet of you. That's that was the question. Is he in thirty feet within right. me? And that's Hello. that's what my Okay. But you can you can dash if you wanted. But you'd have to get to there. So you dash twenty feet and then run back ten. <laughs> yeah. You could do that. And yep. use your and it's your reaction to puppet him. <laughs> oh the logistics. Yep, so we'll dash there, we'll puppet him. Um, right, so I think it was there was what you need to get to. Yeah. Right, so you can move him up to 15 feet. So you're saying one, two, three. Uh, so now he's somewhere in the darkness. I was thinking... I'll ping it for you. Yeah, that one. So it's... Because I can't see around the corner. I don't know if, if it widens up, it's not going to be... It's not going to be in the way, whereas... 
Okay, right. So you've done that. So and then you move back, and then that takes us down to um, Lazel's turn. So Lazel, are you? Yes. Your camera being frozen really screws me. Um, <laughs> so you have fallen <laughs> down the side of the ravine. So you're you're prone on the floor. So that means you have to use half your movement to get up. So you've got 15 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. You can't see anyone. You can see your friend hiding behind a boulder. Uh, you can move forward towards the danger if uh, if you want. You can hold an action. So this is where you say, like, um, I've got my bow. If I see anything that looks non-friend shaped, I'm firing it. And you can do that yep. if you want. I'll do that. Okay, so where do you want to move to? Because right now you're standing right in the open. You're moving back, you're moving forward, you're staying where you are. I'm going to move it there. Okay. So that gives you a good line of sight for your bow. Right, so your bow is... Ooh, let's have a look. So that's 30 feet. So that's when you attack normally. So you could attack up to 120, so anything further away, so like there, it's going to be at disadvantage. But you're saying... You, you've got to be really clear. Mm. You're just attacking the first thing you see, or are you waiting for them to get within 30 feet of you? Are you sure about that? Because I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Okay, so you're holding an action with a bow to shoot the first thing that gets within 30 feet of you. Yeah, providing it's not one of mine. There you go. Ty, are you sure about the 30 feet? Because when I look at short bow and crossbow, it says 80 slash 320, so... Uh, she's got a hand bow. Oh, the, the teeny tiny one. Okay. Yeah, for some reason it's a hand crossbow, so 30, 120. Okay, that makes sense. What? What? Right, so let's take us back to Declan. So again, this guy went down. We've not really seen anything else from him. What are you doing? So, and remember, you've always got that option, it's like good. what Lazel is doing. You can hold an action. You know, I'll no, attack I know. the first one. I know, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to. Let me see. Let's <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna um she's back I'm gonna move right here. Um that way if I need to I can pop out. Yeah, so your your line of sight is basically gonna be anything south of that um that red line. Right. I, what I'm doing is uh, I'm banking on she saying what she sees and then if I need to I can move to like here here, which would give me all of this. Right, so you're, you're, if you hold an action, you, I'm pretty sure you can't hold movement, but you can hold, like, um, a weapon attack or a spell attack or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold action with that. Right, so, and this is this is what you've got to be super specific. What spell or crossbow or attack action are you going to hold, and what are the conditions that will make you use it? Uh, it'll be Witch Bolt, and the conditions are something I see that's dangerous to, uh, you know, a, a threat to us. Right, now I'm just going to mention this. So when you hold an action, right, and this is only with spells, you have to cast that spell. So if you hold a cantrip, it doesn't really matter. If you hold a spell, you're going to use that spell slot regardless of whether, you know, you actually cast the spell at the end of it. Mm, Alright, so let me do one thing. Don't, don't ask me why it's like that, but that's the way it's set up. So if you say Witch Bolt, right, you're going to use a spell slot even if you don't use Witch Bolt. Okay, so I, everything I have, I can reach if I so. Now I'll, I'll I'll hold Eldritch Blast first. Okay, so if you see anything get close to you with Eldritch Blast, right? Yep. Well, anything that perceived as dangerous, but yes. Okay. Oh. I need to make a bunch of checks. Right. So. Okay. That's a big fat warning with a red sign right there. 
a bunch of checks. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm sitting outside right now. <laughs> okay. First thing that happens, um, and only Lazel would see this, uh, oh, an orc comes out and just tumbles over this one that's in front of him. Right? So this guy here just tumbles, rolls straight forward, and he is prone on the ground. <laughs> right, can we get a good one for prone? There we are. So he's just fallen over on the ground. Right, and what we see with the other ones, let me just double check. What are they doing? He's done a me. Okay, so. So, first one runs down here, runs in this direction. So before he even gets to you, Lazel, you would fire your crossbow. Yep. Right, so, roll to hit. So, let's say he's about here, first of all. Nine to hit. <laughs> so, nine is not going to hit. So, he keeps going. Right, you're the one he can see, so he's running down to there. Uh, at which point, Declan can see him as well. Yep. And you'd fire. You'd fire when he's still not within melee range of you. Right. So Eldritch Blast. Correct. Roll to hit. Jesus Christ! Eleven. And that's gonna miss. And that brings him to there. And then you see another group of these come out. This guy and this guy. Right. Mm. I'm just going to put a marker on him. Okay. Right. Orcs, orcs, orcs. Okay. So the one, the one that's come running in, they don't see. Um, uh, they don't see Simph. He was hiding behind a boulder. Wasn't focused on Declan, making a great axe attack against Lazel. And that is a 24 to hit. Ooh! These guys have... These guys are orcs. They're big, they're hulking, and they're strong. Not much armor. Very strong, though. Uh, I'm going to say that hits five points of slashing damage on Lazel. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, Lazel, you would notice this. Right? <laughs> Two of the orcs look a bit different. Oh, I thought you were talking... You would notice getting slashed... Uh <laughs> Two of the orcs look a little bit different. Yeah, right. you thought it was you, um, Declan, not me. Right, so one of them, the one with the blue, the blue spot, he looks a bit chunkier than the other orcs. You know, his armor looks a little bit better. He he definitely looks like he's um he's a bit better than some of the other ones floating around. And what you do see at the back as well is something that doesn't really look like an orc. As you as you kind of Look there, strain your eyes. Um, I wonder if there's a picture. Ah, there is. Right, you see something that looks like this. Fucking hell. <laughs> Scary! Uh, is that... No, it's still medium. So, yeah, uh, you see something that looks like an ogre. Right. So, what are the orcs going to do? Sorry, just one second. Ugly SF. Yeah, I don't know why he's on one square, because he is a large creature. Right, so oh, MG. Do. Okay, so the, the orcs that aren't in combat, they are three of them are gonna throw javelins in your direction, Lazel, because you're the only <clears throat> one they can see. So that's one, Pickle. two, three. Oh. That's a fourteen and eighteen and a thirteen. Oof. So, what's your AC? 16. Uh, so, that's one hit, seven piercing damage. <laughs> Not fussed with that. Right, so, so that is... You're on eight health now. <laughs> and then we've got the ogre. What can he do? And for some reason, he has a javelin as well. Let me just see how far he's got to throw that. And that is going to be a disadvantage... And uh, that's a 10 for him, so that misses. So everyone else can just see this hail of javelins just come flying behind, just smacking into the wall behind Lazelle, and just one just catched her in the shoulder as well, at the same time that one is just bashing her with a, um, 
what are they, what are they attacking with? Sorry, javelins, right? No, before that, the orc was attacking with a great axe. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Lazel should know that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that brings us down to Colby. Save us, Colby. <laughs> I think Joski is on to something. <laughs> Oh, yep. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, looks like you really stirred up the hornet's nest on this one. Mm. It probably would have helped if you, you, you know, hadn't lost the element of surprise. You think? Don't blame me. Well, I mean, at least we got one of them. <laughs> you don't blame me. You. You're the one that fell. <laughs> no, just... no, now I need healing. Right, well, Colby, Colby's got to decide what he's well, going to do. He's, I... he's your big gun. I'm big gun? I'm just big. That's the thing. I'm not a gun. I am medic. Well, we've worked out that 18 is enough to take down yeah. probably most. Uh, well, I was going to hit him first, but... Anyway, I am long range, so I'm going to crossbow the crap out of the closest one. Because I right. can. <sighs> Make that roll. And that's 14, and I believe 14 hit the other one, so that might also hit this one. 14 hits? Yeah, see? The boy is learning. So that is 14. <laughs> so that's an 8 plus 3. Ooh, that's an 8, so that's 11 damage to that guy. Um, He's still up, but he's yeah. looking a bit bloodied there. So more than 11, less than 8. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he's looking buddy. There's that, that thing just goes straight through his, you know, pelt tied armor there. Uh, yeah. Are you going to do anything else? Are you going to charge or are you going to hang back? I am going to hang back. No pro no, uh, no nothing there. Right. You going to use any other spells, healing word or anything like that? Otherwise, we're moving down to uh, Synth's turn. Because what I want to use is an action, so don't think I have any action. And I, can, I can't bless. Get, get ready in your head for what you're doing. Nope. And that's touch. And that, well, healing word is a bonus action, but that's also a slot. Oh, crap. 60 feet, I am within range. Uh, how far down are you, Trace? Um, 8 out of 20. And Eagle was 10 out of 20 or something like that. Oh, Eagle's fine. Everyone else is at full health. Yeah, oh yeah, that was previous. Yeah, okay. Fine, I will use Healing Word on Trace because that is a bonus action and I can do that. So, a d4 plus 5 to see how many hit points. And that's a freaking 4. So, you regain 9 hit points. Thank you. That wave of vitality just comes across you, Tracy. As this wound, you know, if you pull out that, that uh, javelin from your shoulder, and the, the hole that's there just starts closing already. Yep, next. Sweet. Right. Synth, are you going to activate your sword? I am indeed. I'm going to do this the right way around. I'm going to bonus action first. So you're going to grab your sword with... with your hand and just pull that blood across it. Yep. And bonus your action blade just first. crackles with lightning. Uh, D4, see what damage I take. Oh, three. Three, yep. Oof. Three damage there, damage there. And I swing, you know, he's gonna hit or try and hit. He misses, crit fail and stuff. <laughs> That's how I, think he's, goes. I think he's feeling better hey, with this shield gonna now. Out there in the universe, man. <laughs> Maybe that's how it usually goes. <laughs> oh no, that's better. Twenty-four to hit. That that's gonna hit him. That's gonna hit him. Yeah. Um, the thing I know about you is you can do a lot of damage, especially when you charge. Yep. Um, so that's that. 
Alice. Ten there, and I get a what? A one d four, right? Four. Oh. And that's so. That's twelve points of damage. That's a decent amount of damage, and he was already bloodied when from um Corby's attack there. So that guy, you just stab him, and again, lightning crackles throughout his body as he shakes and falls to the floor. Mm. That guy is down. That's two. But he's got some very angry-looking friends behind him. Um, right, do we want to run away very, very quickly? Be before, so they, because they can't get out of the box. He's blocking them from coming out. Do we want to run away? Well, the, the, the problem is you can't ask your friends. You have to do and hope that they understand what you're trying to do. You can certainly retreat. That that's a thing you can do. No, no one. There's nothing anywhere that says that you have to move forward. But certainly, you could try and block them with your body as a meat shield. Because there well, is a single space there. <laughs> Whether well, that would be good for your health, I don't know. Yeah, but he's 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 right next to the rock, so they're going to fall over him either which he's, way. They they might fall over him. He's a dead body on the floor. You can generally jump over those. Well, I say, um, I say it's an obstacle, or just step so on them. at least roll to see so if they stumble or what. Make it fun. <laughs> uh, roll, but the, the DC won't be very high. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like, one to five, they trip and fall and rest. And I, I, I am quickly running away. Very, very quickly running away. Right, let's have a look. So and see if they understand what my... Uh, yeah, okay. So you've you've moved backwards. A bit of a tactical retreat there. Yep. Uh, Lazel, what are you doing? Can I crossbow the one in blue and then run away? <laughs> you can certainly try. So you're, you're going for the beefier looking one. I am. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> she likes them beefies. 19 to hit. Ooh. Uh, that is going to hit. Four piercing damage. Okay. Um, he doesn't look bloodied. Did you want to action surge or did you want to save that? Save. Okay. So are you moving or are you staying where you are? I am moving when I got into white sheet. So you've got 30 feet of movement, so you can get to about there. I'm hiding there. Okay, so just moving back 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So definitely still in range of them next go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, if you're if you going to... Can I move there... before you do their row? <laughs> Can I quickly move back a little bit more before you take their go? Uh, yes, yeah, so you started there. So you've only gone 10 of your 30 feet. You can go all the way to there if you wanted, or anywhere in between. There we go. Yeah, definitely make that. Right, um, Declan. Yes. The, the squishy wizard is, is finding himself abandoned very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Squishy warlock, yeah. Um, so I can move here... Without any uh, negatives, yeah, and they continue to move. Yeah, you can continue to move. You can. Right, well, you don't have to do your whole movement. You can stop and attack and move the rest of it. Okay, or... yeah, that's 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 what I'm gonna do. I was gonna move there. Now I'm gonna witch bolt down that hallway. Okay, so you, you have to stay within thirty feet, otherwise your witch bolt will drop at some point. Right, 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 right. But the thirty feet from here is oh shit okay yeah so what i'm gonna do for you and just for you is put an aura up <laughs> i love that five he, he just realized that 30 feet from me is oh shit so you'd have to keep your enemy within that aura <laughs> yep okay still um uh, what's the one with the blue dot what is i missed that i'm sorry um so you've got orcs in front of you that right. one with the blue dot looks a bit beefier than the other ones. Is okay. um is armor, you know, it's still ramshackle sort of pelts and things like that, but it it looks nicer, like um like there's more care and attention gone into it. 
It, he certainly or more gives like you um, later and he gets prime choice. Okay. He gets kind of a um a war chief kind of look to him. Yep. So he's getting the witch bolt. Okay. Uh roll to hit. Eighteen. Yeah, it's gonna do it. These guys aren't as armored as the hobgoblins. Six points of damage. So with okay. So that's four points from Lazel, six points from you. He's not looking bloodied. But right now, you are just like Emperor Palpatine, you are just channeling lightning on him. So yep. as long as you stay within thirty feet, you can continue to do that. Or you can run away and break it. No one says you have to continue to channel. Can <laughs> I bonus action while I'm doing that, or is that you can. So it's concentration. So if you use something else that's concentration, you'll break it. So something like guidance. But I think you're fine with the uh, the thing that you're choosing. The telekinetic shove. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This guy. So I don't think that's concentration. No, it's an at will. Yeah. So it's DC 13. Strength. Which they have. Uh, they have strength in spades. Yeah. Right. Is it on the same guy? No, 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 no. It's this guy. The one that oh. hasn't been hit yet. I was going to say, because you've got to push him out of the 30 feet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Come on. Where's the strength check? And... Yeah, he's pushed back, what is it, five feet or ten feet? Uh, five feet. Yeah, so he's pushed back five feet as he's just shoved backwards. Yep. Right, and you're staying where you are, eh? For now. Okay, so that takes us to the orc's turn. Uh... Right, so this, this is going to be interesting. So this guy... Let's just move him to there. He's going to... There. <laughs> right, and I just need to check one thing on this sheet. Yeah. They're doing the so, conga. <laughs> so, they've all moved 30 feet towards you. But the orcs have an ability. Right. As a bonus action, each orc can move up to its movement speed towards a hostile creature it can see. So, this one at the top, he's now... Yeah, he's moving down to there. Uh, this one's going to be moving down to there. This one, he's got another 30 feet, so he's going to try and bypass. Yeah, he's congering down to there. The ogre is stuck where he is, and this guy is now stuck behind the ogre. <laughs> right. Let's see what damage happens. Oh, God. <laughs> right. So we've got one of one of these guys is going to be attacking uh, Synth. So he's got a great axe. Right, it's this giant great axe. It's heading in your direction, Synth. That's a 22 to hit. Will hit. Take 12 points of slashing damage. Ouch. Uh, I think that's max damage, to be honest. No, it's not. That's <laughs> still a lot. What are you on, five? Yep. Uh, then we've got two heading in a simp uh, Declan's direction. A 10. That's not going to hit, is it? No, it is not. And a 14. That misses as well. Miraculously. <laughs> and <laughs> Eagle, he must be feeling this is so unfair. I just yep. got a shield. And the wizard is just immune to getting hit. Well, they're the yep. walk. Ah, uh, the dice do with the dice. I, I can see me losing yet another character before, the, the, before we've even, uh, you know... Right, um, okay, so this guy here, who I'm just going to turn that off from, he's going to throw a javelin in Colby's direction. Figures. Uh, 13, that's not going to hit, is it? Nope. Right, and the other guy, so the ogre, can only really throw one at Declan. So Was that one a natural 20 by any chance? Um... That was... no. It was a 22, but it wasn't a nat 20. Okay. That means he could roll higher than 22. Right, and yeah. the uh, the ogre's going to throw a javelin at Declan. That one has 15. That hits. 
And that is nine points of piercing damage. <laughs> Hurts. And that is their turn. So you've taken two of them down. You've done some damage to a fourth. So, Colby, what are you doing? Oh, crap. Right. Um, Channel Divinity. Ten hit points to Eagle. Yes. That is a bonus. I suppose I'm aware. Uh, yep. Because it's not a spell, you can still use healing word. Or you can save it for when someone goes down, if someone goes down. Yeah, I know. Um, I will use... I will use my bow. My crossbow will aim at blue duck guy. Okay, and roll to hit. There. Oh, shit. That's a 2 plus 5, 7. That's not going to do squat. Their the armor's not great, but it's not that bad. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that just gets stuck in the shoulder plates. Because it's hide armor, so it still gets stuck in it, but it just doesn't penetrate. So are you going to charge for an extra attack, or are you going to hang back? Oh, I'm definitely going to hang back. I'm not getting anywhere near these guys. Right, right, Synth, what are you doing? Your blade is crackling. You've got a guy who's just taken a big chunk out of you. I'm going to hit him the, back. Mysteriously, the wound seems to have closed almost instantly. I'm, I'm, I'm just... While, while my sword's doing what it's doing, I'm just going to hit it for extra damage because they're going to kill me otherwise. Um, That's, so end. That's a dirty 20. That will definitely hit. Like just. <laughs> That's a thirteen plus a D four. Oh god, yeah, the D four. You 15. know what? You know what? Right. You needed that D four because his health is fifteen points. That did it. That put him over the top. <laughs> that guy is dead. He got stabbed and he's just looking at you. He's just coming forward through the blade and then the lightning kicks in and he just does him in <laughs> as his heart stops and drops to the floor that uh, that little d4 that, that does a lot more than you think it does and i've used my puppet so i can't even puppet him now to take care of the guy behind him yeah <sighs> uh, okay. um, so you can now move if you wanted to or you can stay where you are Oh, you know these guys, they've got some distance on them. They'll catch up with you. But <laughs> you can still move if you want. But he could move before as well. It just wouldn't go well for him. Uh, no, I'm not going to move. I don't think. I'm not, I'm not going to leave my... As much as I want to run away right now, I am not going to abandon the you know, okay. party. Uh, Lazel. So you've mm. still got an action surge. You can still attack twice in one turn if you want to. But this is this is you now. What are you doing? Well, he's just killed the one I wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but then, so she's going to quit. <laughs> she's going to quit. <laughs> she's, Screw you guys, she's, I'm going home. Yeah, she's going to GTFO. <laughs> can I still hit the one behind him? Uh, mm. Yes, you can either shoot him with your bow or you can move forward and try and hit him with your great axe. A great sword. I'll stay where I am and use my bow. Okay. Uh, great sword's obviously got them more damage, but you know, if you want to hang back, you can hang back. I want to hang back. Thank you. I'm being chicken. Right. So, um, yeah, roll to hit. Twenty-two to hit. It will hit. What damage do you do though? <laughs> Three damage. Wow. Now, what? I want you to roll damage on your long your long sword so you can see what you would have done if you'd done that. Six. Yeah, still, it would have been more. Right, um, so he takes three points of damage. So he's, uh, he's not even bloodied right now. Are you using your second attack, or are you saving your uh, action surge? 
I want to use my second attack, my action surge thingy. Okay, so you tick your action surge, use your bonus action. So are you going to uh, move into melee, or are you going to fire another bow shot? Can I fire another bow? Of course you can. <laughs> so roll to hit. Fourteen to hit. Uh, that'll hit. Seven damage. Okay, he's uh, he's looking bloodied, but he's still up. Right, so and are you going to move, or are we you going to move on to Declan's turn? I want to move. Uh, where would you like to move to? Do you want to make the map bigger so you can run away further? I know where I'm going, hang on. There you go, I've made the map bigger so you can run away off map. I'm fine there. Right, okay. So uh, you move down a bit, you're defending Colby. Okay, uh, Declan. Yes. You are, you are in the mix. Yeah, I know. Um, so you, you're, I, you're the place where casters don't want to be. <laughs> right, but I've hit this guy with the... Uh, the Witch Bolt, so you can continue yep. to ca channel that. You yep. don't need to roll to hit, you just roll damage. Four. It's always disappointing when you got a 12 and you don't do the big numbers. Yeah. Okay, but he is still up. Still not looking bloodied. Uh, Mother of Mercy. Mm -hmm. I'm there shall um, be no mercy for you. Uh, oh, I think crap, I, crap, 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 crap. You got hit last turn, didn't you? Yeah. Did you want to use your reaction? We completely forgot. <gasps> I did too. Hellish Rebuke, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did that, 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 uh, point your finger at the creature, damage you momentarily in Hellish Flames. Creature must dex roll save. Takes fire damage. Okay, uh, so he's rolled 10, so that's definitely going to be a fail. So here's that's my damage. 3d10, is it? Uh, it's 2d10. Um, it's, it's, uh, when you're casting the spell at a second level, the damage increases by one for each above one. So it's 2d10 since I'm only second level. Okay. So it's the, uh, it's the normal orc. How about 18? He's just engulfed in flame and a burnt cinder of a, an orc falls to the floor. All right. Um... Can I telekinetic push? You can. If you, if you succeed, you can maybe run away. That's my... Yeah, I'm pushing big guy here. Okay, so he needs to roll. These guys are quite strong. That's an yep. 18. Yeah. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to give him his attack of opportunity because I'm just... I get that ogre coming next also. That's not the only one that's going to do it. Okay. Um, so let's go... Yeah, that, that's going to be two attacks of opportunity. Oh, sh sugar and spice. So, are you sure? You can still... I'm not going to stop you, but are you sure? Well, yeah, I'm going to have to because if I stay there, this guy is moving and I'm... I've got more coming, so yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to... Go from here to here. Which right. keeps him still within my 30 feet. Um, well, that's some hinky rolls. Uh, I've rolled both of them, both of crit, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to fall unconscious there. Well, wait, 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 wait. Roll your damage on that first one. Um, 11. Oh my fucking god. 
Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to fall down right there. If he if he had, what was it, two more points of damage, you would just be dead. I, I'm in, yeah, I'm in death saves. So you're you're just unconscious at the moment. Yep. Um, but wait, 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 wait. As I'm going down, as my body hits zero hit points, can I touch myself and stabilize myself? <laughs> I'm just trying to debate. Could I'm just trying to think. You're you're knocked unconscious. Could you have? Because this last turn was the reaction. This is new damage. Would you be able to react before you? No, I think you're unconscious. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I feel like right. I'm going. <laughs> Right, so now it's the orc's turn. So, right, we're gonna have this one move down to there. Right, this guy, can he weave in? Oh, sorry, this one here, he doesn't need to stay near you. He's gonna run to there. Let's get rid of that guy. This guy, how far can he get? Get, he can get all the way down there. And this ogre is going to spend a turn getting stuck trying to get over the boulder. <laughs> right, so, tax. Uh, first, yeah, we, yeah, we've got two on synth, just because the way they're positioned. So that's an 11. Nope. Uh, and nope. Seven. And a 7. Nope. Not. And we've got one on Lazelle, and that is a 20. Uh -huh. Ouch. And that is 13 points of slashing damage. Ow. 13. 13. So, I so hate you. So it's going to put you on three health points, I think. Jeez. Four. Right. Okay. Um, and then we've got one last one. It's the ogre who is going to try and throw a javelin in Simp's direction. That's a 19, and that is 7 points of piercing damage. That's 7 points. Okay, Colby. Yeah, that didn't quite go to the plan that I wanted to plan, but... Yeah. The, the plan is unplanned, I guess. Well, you know what they say, um, you know, plan goes out the window when that first fire, first shot yeah, fired. Yeah, plan goes out the window when it's the GM's turn. That's <laughs> uh, well, because they all go on the same turn, so they just do a lot of damage. Yeah, I will place my clammy hand on the, on phrase in front of me and, and give her guidance. Because... That doesn't can... apply to attack rolls, don't think. I know. I'll... Uh, all oh right, that's an action. Oh crap! <laughs> are you saying you want oh. her to wreck on that? Um, I didn't notice it was an action. Oh, give me a second here. I'll let you. I'll crap, let you crap, crap, change crap, what you're doing. Crap! 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 Mm. Crap! Crap! Uh, uh, Lazelle I... does have second wind. She's not used that yet. Yes, just Kelly. Mm. Lazelle, you may want to read up on second wind before you turn. So, Lazar may be getting some hit points back in a minute. Fuck shit, 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 fuck shit. 1d10 plus 2. Um, I think the fuck. This is gonna go horrible, I just know it. Colby moves backwards. He charges. He misses. He's dead next turn. Well, she might be. Um. <laughs> well, these guys don't have a lot of AC. Crap. Yeah, I know. but they are—they are big and they are tough, and they—they they hit. I'm gonna have to stop. Uh, me sideways. You're gonna have to fuck yourself sideways. What? Uh, you'd like to see that, wouldn't you? It's the problem when you've got casters. Yeah. You've got so many options. There's not so much, but I have options. It's, it's the fact that I don't really. He could be blessing everyone so everyone hits more. He could be getting Declan up with a, a heal word. He can. Um, <laughs> what's it? He <laughs> could. <laughs> he could inflict wounds well, for a lot the, of damage. I'm not, I'm not so much in the trouble of getting Declan up because I got spared of dying on cantrip. So that's not the. That's not the problem. 
<laughs> the problem is I got a couple of things that I wanted to do and now I can't do them because stuff. <laughs> uh, Boo. He's like, Declan, why did you have to run? <laughs> you dumb son of a... Oh, why didn't you right. run? Um, you know what, I'm going to get in this fight. You know, Declan's there just saying, you know, 50% of the time it works 100% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> was it, um, I was cannot, it Black Panther? The, the, um, <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, I can either heal Trace in front of me and try and GTFO to a safer location. I think Trace is going to heal herself next time, but you can certainly do whatever you want. Or I can inflict some wounds on someone and and then GTFO. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Okay, so I'm going to move one. One square, and the uh, ogre that I can see is going to get uh, an, a nasty case of inflict wounds. So that one there is the one that looks bloodied. Just to see where. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, either that, or I can. You know what? You say, you say he's bloodied already. Okay, then I will. Oh crap! I can't switch weapons because that will take an action. No. Nope. Okay. You know what? Fine. So I inflict wounds on that motherfucker. Okay. Roll to hit. That's a plus four to hit. Thirty twenty. Thirty. Well, that 20. definitely hits. Um, yes, if you does. roll more than three ones, he should be dead. Well, you see, I got these three tens here, and they kind of roll like um, oh, 17 damage. So I think maybe possibly he dead. He dead. You just, you know, you just put your hand on his face, and his body just turns to pus and mucus as he just melts away in front of you and turns into a desiccated corpse and I might just sneak a little bit away just because reasons yeah I have extended the map if you do want to move off of it <laughs> it's okay you guys who are just you know it's okay. playing, the, <laughs> playing that game uh synth so you've got you've got in front of you the chieftain looking guy and to the south of you you've got um the more normal looking guy. Chieftain doesn't look bloodied. The guy to the south, he doesn't look bloodied. And you got, I'm a, and you got uh, a pile my, or something on the... Uh, yeah. Right I, your feet. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my sword's still doing the thing, so I'm just gonna hit and hope and pray I take the Chieftain out, because that, that's... You know, if I take the Chieftain out, then they, 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 the others might, you know... Be a little bit scared. They might. They might. We'll have to see. Oh, nope. Not with that hit, it's not. Uh, an eight is not going to do it, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. So I think that's you. <laughs> yep. Do better next time. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's the dice. And I'm using yeah. more 20. And I, you know, I could, it's not like I can put them in dice jail. Ah, uh, but you can you can change to the Fembachar dice or something. Right. Um Yeah, Lazel. Double wind. Right, so roll a D ten, add two. And that does Hang on. Five. Wow, you must have rolled low. But you've got nine health. So you're about fifty percent. Now, if you use your great sword and you hit max damage, you can maybe take one of these people out, or you can run away and leave uh, Simph to his fate. <laughs> I'm gonna you. Can I use my great sword on the one in front of me? You have to move forward one square. But yes. Because I'm going to kill the one that was right in front of you. 
Sorry. I'm on top of, I'm on top of the dead body. Yeah. You just stand you, on him. You get the height advantage. <laughs> oh, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't because as her as her metal boot just stands on his chest because he's been turned into mush, it just goes straight through. Squelch. Oh. Oh, the mental image. Someone's yeah, getting it, it on the It inflicts wounds, boot kind here. of melts people. Uh, 20 to hit. That's going to hit. So it's 2d6 plus 3. 9 damage. Uh, he's definitely bloodied. He's definitely it's bloodied, but he's still up. Um, Declan, make me a death saving throw, because no one stabilized you. Yeah. Uh, can I run away first? I see. What is the death saving throw, by the way? You can run away, but you would take an attack of opportunity. Twice. Uh, okay. Twice. Not. So it's uh, you roll a d10, sorry, d20, and you need yep. to get more than 10. And don't get a 1, otherwise you, you fail quite hard. Oof. 7. So, so that's one fail. Yep. You fail two more times, you are perma dead. Okay. So now it's the orc's turn. So there's only actually two orcs alive. The the chieftain and one other one. Chieftain's not dead? Oh man. Uh yeah, so I thought at least I'd kill them. The the chieftain is gonna be attacking uh Synth and the other one's gonna be attacking Lazel. So Synth a ten, I think it's a swing and a miss. Lazel that actually wants to roll. That's a 24 for 11 points of slashing damage. That's me on death door. Come join me. Okay. Well, I guess I know what I'm build I will be doing. <laughs> right, and the ogre now smashes through the rock and is now slightly trapped by his two friends in front of him, but he's, he's there. And oh, crap. doesn't quite squish Declan as he runs past. Thank you for that. <laughs> right. Um, where are we here? Colby. Actually, you know what? The ogre's the ogre's going to throw his javelin at Colby's direction. He's not had anything come there. That's a ten. That's doing nothing. <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. So, Colby, you can see a chieftain. Yep, I know. Not bloodied. An ogre, untouched. And an orc that looks bloodied. That's, that's what you can see. And Lazel is down. Yeah. Okay. Far crap. I'm you got gonna, two people I'm, down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a hidden, hidden run, I was going to say, but, well, kind of almost, maybe, possibly. Well, yeah, if you charge hey. and you, you hit, no. you could maybe take someone down with no, your bonus action. Not, not, not quite like. That, but that's also an idea, but not what I was wondering. I am gonna run down here. I'm gonna cast Spare the Dying on Trace. Not so healing word? You're <laughs> <laughs> not gonna bring her up. <laughs> because I don't have any more of those spells, but I can spare the dying. So she's out of uh, out of the countdown thing, and with that said and done, I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna shoot. And I'm not gonna do anything because that's an action. So it it is an action. <laughs> but you are back up, Trace. <laughs> Meet shield. Do your thing. <laughs> no, Trace isn't up. She's just unconscious, but she's not rolling. Ah, well, she's okay, so am I back up to time. one hit point no more? You you are not. You're just no, you're you don't have zero. to roll. You don't have to roll death saving throws. Oh, yeah, oh. you're at zero, but you're not gonna die. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, something like crap. Uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. You yeah, should have maybe saved one of those spells. Um. <laughs> yeah, try saying uh, to someone who's only got three spell slots. So, Simp, who are you attacking? The, the bloodied orc to yourself or the, the chieftain in front of you? Um. Who do you think you can kill first? Yeah. He did say he thought, he, like, he goes, oh, you guys are funny. You think this would be the easy one. <laughs> I'm going to go for the one in the south just because the ice and 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, roll, roll to hit. That's a 24. Yes. Dirty 20 or just a 24? Right. Uh, Let's have a look at you. So you get uh, plus five damage. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put an X on him because before you even roll damage, that's enough. One D eight plus five, then the D four. Uh, it, it's all overkill at this point. You only okay. have five health points left. Okay. He wants the satisfaction of killing. <laughs> oh, you can roll your damage if you really. Want. It's the matter of. Poke dead or well, you'd be the one time tonight that he rolls death. max damage. <laughs> yeah, without the d4, he's 13, so yeah. Maybe, what, you know. What would yeah. your d4 have done? 13, 1d4. You know, if it's 4 now, I'm not. Oh, come on! <laughs> that, that, you, that's one shot kill territory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that, that's Simpson's turn. Lazel, you're stabilized. Um, Declan, you need to make a death saving throw and don't get a one. And I can't really reach him because there's something gigantic in the way from him. Um, hang on, my computer is not... Okay, so just a d20. Just stand a d20, get more than yep. ten. Don't get a one. Five. That's two death saving <laughs> Um, That's not yeah. Good. So this takes us round to the orc and the ogre. This this is getting close. This is the orc and the ogre. It sounds like a monster kid story. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's a swing and a miss, and the ogre's going to javelin, and that's going to be fourteen points of piercing damage on Corby. Not if. Uh... That depends on what his uh, what he was trying to hit. Uh he was trying to hit you. What do you mean? Yeah, but how hard? How? What's the two hit? Oh, the two hit on that was twenty. Oh. Okay. I only got eighteen. <laughs> what you try? Uh, fourteen points of piercing damage. Uh, crap, I'm down to one. <laughs> uh, Colby. So you've just got an ogre and an orc. Um, well, it's a damn shame these uh, bolts aren't, aren't, aren't piercing because they're not <laughs> fire straight through the leader and straight into the hulking thing. No, uh, you need a dead shot. That's what, um, that's what Eagle used to have. Yeah, well, I am going to obviously crossbow the one that I can crossbow, which means the guy with the blue dot. Yeah, okay, roll to hit. Um, 12. It's not going to be enough. Uh, no, the AC is um just a little bit higher than that. Yeah. Are you going to charge? Um, um, so far, so no, I'm not that suicidal. And I cannot preserve life because that is used. Uh, cannot charge because they're not far away enough, I think. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I gotta le move at least 30 feet straight towards target, so nope. Um, the only thing I can feasibly do is... Uh, Run away? <laughs> a tactical oh. retreat a bit so they don't uh, run me over next time. <laughs> and that's um, just about all I can do, actually. So, uh, and, and well, I mean, right. So I, I, I can. No, I can't really. I, I can't even do that. Crap. Okay. Nope. Never mind. So eagle. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the. My sword's still doing its thing, so I, I, I'm gonna hope for a better, uh, the, the same kind of turnout as last time, uh, with my rapier against the chieftain. Um, that was a crit one, by the way. 
That was terrible. Um, I'm having Sarge game flashbacks now. I, uh... Yep. Six is just not going to do it, but I will put that in. Uh, you say you got two uh, crit wins earlier. They were both in the 20s, right? Uh, I need to look back. I got. I had one. Early. I have, I've had two tonight. Two natural twenties. Declan, so, Carl, where are you? Yeah. You know yeah, I've got. I've got three. But you. You did a two nat twenty when um, Colby tried. Uh, not Colby. Uh, a minute. When somebody tried to run out the out of the uh, out of the way, out of the oh monster. yeah, yeah, he had, the monsters. He had two net trits on me, but the first one took me down. So do you count the second one? Um, it'd just be one if so, but yeah, right. yeah. First one is what took me down. So yeah, that's that's correct. So that'll be a four. Yeah, I'm just. I'm. I'm not saying who. You know, not taking. I'm just taking count of how many we get and how many fails. Okay, not making so note that's of Lazel, who's unconscious. So then Declan, roll that d twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> So I get another natural 20. <laughs> you pop back to life with one health point. What? How? When you not, when you roll not, a crit not. on a death saving oh, throw. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And it's act and I will I will let you take your one health point turn. Um, you're okay. prone on the floor. You'd have to use half your movement to get up. Okay, hang on one second. Hang on one second. Uh, apply changes. So that is one hit point. Uh, um, can can you, by the way, can you just give me a stealth roll real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stealth, 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 stealth. Where's my stealth? Why is this not, why is this not scrolling all of a sudden? Declan's like, oh my god, does this change the whole game? Hey. Nope. Uh, <laughs> stealth was an 18, plus 2 was 20. The ogre does not see you. He's facing the other way. Oh you were god. dead on the floor. He has not noticed that you've Regain consciousness. So you're uh, you're kind of lying down at the moment. It's half your movement to get up. It's 15 feet, uh, but you have your your turn. And you've got one health point. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, so you, you can move away from him without in, without taking an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Hang on a second. I'm just checking something real quick. <laughs> <laughs> So can I move away and do something? That's uh, not yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So you said, what, 15 feet? Yeah, so 15 very stealthy crawling along the ground feet. Yep. So there. I'm crawling this way. Did I say there? Yeah. Um, let, me, let me turn your aura off. Yeah, let's turn, turn your aura off, thanks. I do, in my possession, have a potion of healing. You gotta throw it, it at Lazel. be a good idea to use that. <laughs> That's... No, 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 yeah. I'm using it on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm using it on me. Okay. Um, That's a bonus action, so um, you're still gonna have your main action left. Okay. Uh, but roll, roll your healing potion. Alright, so I didn't write... what What is the healing potion? Right, let me just look in your inventory, because it will tell you... So that's the thing is, I was looking at my inventory. Oh, uh, you just put it in like that, right? Yeah. Well, because I couldn't find just the basic things. Everything had like this magical stuff on it. So. Okay, let me just. Oh, and I didn't want to cheat, and you know. Okay, it is two d four plus two. Okay, so two d four plus two. All right, so plus two to this roll. So that's oh my god. So four points. Hey, that's better than nothing. It's almost half your health. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Heal. Okay. And then... Oh. A 
I take it it's been too long for me to use Hellish Rebuke. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm I, the only thing I can do right now is Witchbolt. It's my uh, last. Which Witchbolt or Toll the Dead? Either one. See the, yeah. See the thing. Toll the Dead is a. No, it continues on, but it only does one d eight, whereas Witchbolt ah, does. But if your target has taken damage, it does one d twelve. Oh, oh, oh! Well, then, yeah, I'm gonna toll the dead against them then. Uh, so the ogre's not taking any damage. The chieftain has. So if you wanted to get the max damage, you'd be attacking the chieftain. Uh, you just have to be able to see the target, which you can. Yeah, because that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, that was my because he was my target ahead of time before. So. Um, he does, uh, target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d8 while it's 1d12 necro necro damage. So, um, yeah, he rolls an 11. Uh, and it's a wisdom of a 13, so he fails. fails. So he takes 1d12, which is there. And that's a six, so it's half. He now looks bloodied. Um, and I believe that is all I can do. Because my bonus action would have been using the push, but yeah. Um, yep, alright, so I'm done. But I'm up. Right, so now it's the orc's turn. So he's going to be obviously trying to hit Synth. Uh, so that's, a, that's a seven to hit. <laughs> seven to hit. Nope. And then nope. we've got a javelin flying towards Colby, which is uh, 16. Not gonna hit. Well, why are you not the tank? <laughs> that's what I want to know. You should definitely think about being the tank. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Colby. I'm the medical tank. You're the one hit point tank. <laughs> yeah. That's you're like, you're like a horse with one leg. Yeah. But I'm um, the horse with the crossbow. How about a horse with no name? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can crossbow the crap out of that and the mask with the blue dot. Because that's just about all I can do. And 16 to hit? Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. There, he's not that high. Good. Uh, Where's my D8? Uh, that is six damage. Oh, he's, he's still up. He's looking crispy, but he's up. Ah, oh, goddamn son of a Are you going to risk a charge, or are you just getting up? I'm not going to risk uh, dying. I'm going to stay right here. Synth, it's all down to you. Okay, I'm going to attack the Chieftain because that's all I have left. Um, and my sword's still doing its thing, so please be good. Oh, yes! Come on! 24 to hit! Roll that damage. Splurge. A plus a D4. Well damage right and with that as you stab him and the last of his life force drains away he looks you square in the eye synth and he says here is a good death mm -hmm. and he drops to the floor and I don't know why you weren't focusing that guy down before because as soon as the chieftain dies and there is no one left really except the ogre as soon as the chieftain dies everyone bricks it and starts running away so this ogre now runs past the two of you and starts running away because everyone around him is dead, including his, his beloved leader. You can take some attacks of opportunity if you want. Yep. Hell yes. With my sword still being a thingy, I, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with that's my why, sword. That's why. That's why I went after the leader in the beginning. They they they're worthless without a strong leader. So uh, well to hit as he's. Um... 21 to hit as he's running past me. <laughs> For some damage. A oh. Nine points of damage. He's, he's not bloodied as you kind of scrape him with your rapier in his back as he runs away. 
um, leaving leaving you with just the dead and the dying around you. Um, Lazel, can you make a, a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage? Um, uh, So two d two d twenties and choose the lower. Eighteen. A disadvantage. What was the other one? <laughs> what? what a fifteen and an eighteen. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, he just runs past, doesn't squish you in it. Where does he goes? <laughs> Disappointed DM. Um, <laughs> oh, nasty booger. Right, uh, and with that, he is. It's going to move him off the map. Okay. What are you guys doing? That that was a bit intense. Uh, catching my breath. Yeah, I'm laying down. Well, no, 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 no. Um, I felt very much like a Sarge session. It did. <laughs> but uh, you're starting to uh, learn. <laughs> but here's the thing, guy. All right, so we're still in. We don't know if there's anything else in this cave. Don't look at me. I'm not telling you. What what are you doing? Lazel is unconscious. Can you roll a D four, Lazel? Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna go spare the dying. Uh, I already did that. So well, then she's not, if you roll oh. a D four. Two. Uh, Lazel is going to be unconscious for the next two hours unless anyone has any healing magic. Uh, You're a rotten well, DM. That's that just how it works. Um, your cleric decided to use his spells offensively rather than save them for bringing you up. So it's just a, a resource management choice. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. <clears throat> Well, unless, but, uh, unless she's got a healing potion uh, on her uh, body, then I am in no position to assist medically because my spells and bonus action thingy are gone. Uh, Lazel has a jade uh, statue of a frog. I don't think that's going to be not have healing with it. <laughs> no, it's only there for decorative value. Um, I think the rest of you got just got vials of poison. Yeah, we need somewhere to hold. Oh my up. God, synth, synth! What? What? You have a bag of two thousand ball bearings in it, and they were running through a very thin corridor. I absolutely forgot about those. You know, <laughs> they they That's would have had. They would have had DC 10 saving throws, or they would have just been falling prone as they ran towards you. Right. See, I have call trips, and that's the thing. Was when I came back up, I was going to think about throwing the call trips down, but I didn't have that extra action. Yeah, if you, if you hadn't set off the alarm, Tracy, you could have done all this prep. Because the call trips right. as well, they just so, slow them down, take damage. Uh, plan of option, or option of a plan, I should say. Um, how Long about rest? How, uh, how about I go down, take uh, Trace on my back, and we get into the cave and take rest in there after making sure that it's freaking empty. Yeah. Um. Well, that we need to search these bodies as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah might want to search the bodies first for some healing potions, which. Yeah, or also any... sure we're not going to find any, but you know, okay. So are are you and, going and into the cave? First? No, search the bodies first. Search the bodies first. They may have stuff that would assist us should we run into additional opposition. Okay, uh, there there may be stuff further in the cave, but the bodies themselves, um, you have an assortment of great uh, great club for the for the ogre, um, great axes, great clubs, javelins. And very weak hide armor. That's it. Just um, just on those bodies outside the cave. 
When you say outside the cave, you mean uh, yeah, be, you, you mean yeah, between, I mean is, between yeah. us all, right? You ain't gonna roll for anything unless you're inside the cave. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, well, I'm inside the cave still. Oh, you're you're actually in the ravine leading to the cave. Weirdly. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. It's ravine. My bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah. The the cave right. uh, starts just there. Okay. Um, I uh, could we like hold up here in the ravine? Uh, you, like... you could certainly try and have a short rest outside. I mean, well, that's an wait, 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 wait. All right, so, so let's 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 do this. Let's let's do initiative. Let's do initiative. What? Why? Yeah, because <laughs> I it, some. Cause I think we I I think we need to go at least peek around this corner and see if there's any other creep before we try a short rest. We need to make sure we're alone. Yes. So that's what I was gonna do was go down here and kind of peek around and see what's in there. Um, okay. Yeah. Roll stealth. If that's what you want to do. I'm still not in my stealth thing. <laughs> no, no, you got to re-roll stealth. No, I know, I know, I know. And that's a seven. That's, that's so crap. I'm breathing heavy. So basically, you go down there, but you're you're not as silent as you think you are, and you you look yeah. around, and, and from what you can see face. from there, it you can't see any ogres or any um, orcs from there. The cave seems to curl around to the, the right. And for our viewers, I'm just going to move you there as well. So it, it seems that there's a cave in there. And from the bit, the small bit you can see, you can't, you can see some bedrolls, but you can't see any other ogres, any other orcs from there. Right. Uh, we... Yes, um... I can I can I use stealth and try and peek in a bit further because I get a little bit. Low. Uh, you can. Yours is at disadvantage though. Yeah, but at least I got plus three on it. Go for it. Uh, that would be a nine as my lowest. So yeah. So well. far. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you you peek in a little bit further. Still don't see any baddies, so that's a no. good point. You can see a lot of bedrolls. You can see, actually let me get the description. Up. Yeah, because we can just, rest on the bed. If we rest yeah, on the yeah. bed, you get bonuses. You can you can actually see an unlocked treasure chest in there, the cave. Meep, meep, up, meow. up to the north, <laughs> uh, you can see bedding. Yeah, you see bedrolls that the orcs were using, and more like a pile of fluff, a uh, pile of straw where the ogre must have been kipping. Yeah. See some food and things floating around. Uh, you can't see any ogres, but the, again, the cave does keep going around the corner. I'll I'll go with them. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's and, yeah, uh, let's investigate. Well, the, hang on, hang on. Let, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what are the other two party members doing while we're doing this? Eagle, Tracy. Well, Tracy isn't doing anything. She's sleeping for the next two hours. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's so, Eagle, are you guarding Tracy's unconscious body, or are you... Actually, didn't you say you were putting Tracy on your back? I, uh, yes, I did. Yeah, so, so Lazel is Lazel is over me. here. Oh, on... okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Synth, what are you doing? Um... He's running yeah, for I'll... five. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll do a stealth. See how silent I am. Shit. Oh, twelve. Um, I'm not so sure what else. So you stealth, so we're saying you're you're going in. Again, there doesn't yep. seem to be anything in there, but you haven't seen the whole cave. Right, investigate the cave, and if it's clear, then let us uh, rest up and get some HP back. Yeah, so as you, as you run around the cave, you can see that there are no other ogres, there are no other orcs there. It is completely empty. Roll me some investigation. And I will. Okay. Uh, with a plus zero. That's a ten. Straight up. Seventeen. Um, hey. And do we have anything from Trace? From uh, Lazel? No, she's unconscious. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say oh, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Nope. 
Right. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, da, da, da. So the big guy, the, the chieftain, was called Burgor. Oh. Now, Burgor's band yeah. plundered several homesteads further north. Um, so what you I find think? is an unlocked treasure chest in which you find, and someone needs to write this down, Great. 750 copper pieces, 180 yeah. silver pieces. Well, okay, hang on one second, one second, one second. One second. Oh, I'm Sorry. writing it down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. So, 750 copper, 180 silver, yep. 62 electrum, Ooh, and 30 wow. gold pieces. On. How many gold? Uh, 30 gold pieces. 30. Right, you'll have to work out how you're splitting that or whether you're putting that in the party funds. And who rolled the, the highest there on investigation? I get a 17. I don't know for who's getting bit higher. Uh, you You're find... Uh, you find three vials of... <laughs> of orc perfume. Each worth <laughs> 10 gold pieces each. <laughs> but man, will you smell good to those uh, female orcs. It's got a very musky <laughs> smell to it. <laughs> Uh, huh, 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 crap. Hey, that's, hey, hey, you, you know? wonder how half orcs are born? This is the start of that story. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Uh, what is today's date? The seventh, okay. Yeah, so you'd have to sell that somewhere, but you've got three vials of perfume worth 10 gold hey. pieces each. Hey, that could also be a bargaining chip, you know. Negotiate, come across another orc who wants to kill us. Hey, look what I got. You want to get laid? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill us, it's yours. <laughs> you want you want to get laid? Here. Guaranteed. No no orc can resist the, yeah. the sweet aroma of the orc perfume. <laughs> Works fifty percent of the time, a hundred percent of the time. Yes, yes, good price. Was it Sex Panther? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't know. Ro but Ron they, Burgundy? There you go. Is it scientific? Uh, science uh, studies for sixty percent of the time it works, hundred percent of the time. <laughs> oh god, my eyes are burning. <laughs> ah, that's a good movie. Right. Okay. So, what are you guys doing? The you, you seem to have killed the orcs, cleared them out. You're in the lair. You, you found what you found. Um, I, for safety reasons, I'm going to drag the orcs deep uh, to the to the cave. Get them out of sight. So, like, any other critters, people, whatever, pass by, sees things and get... Oh, what's this? Okay, give me a, give me a strength check. Uh, or an athletics one, if you want. Uh, I will assist him in that, if he wants. Uh, uh, strength. Well, okay, they're both going to be the same, it's, so... It'll be just... athletics, anyway. Um, 12. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, um, they're, they're pretty heavy. But you, you manage to drag them in without too much trouble. It takes about an hour to move all the bodies in, but you, you manage to do it. So to mm -hmm. the to the outside world, it just looks like a ravine, and uh, yep. you're here safe in that cave. All righty, and then um, I will rest. I think we long will, rest. We will all long. rest. I oh, think yeah, we need yeah. long rest. You're short resting, because or you long resting. It's about halfway through the day. It's about two p.m. I, I think with long. everybody, yeah, I think we need a long rest. Yeah, long rest, I think, yeah. yeah. Okay, so get, that's get, that, that's going to take you into day start. two. So everyone needs to knock off um, some rations, unless they want to um, make some orc food. <laughs> I yeah, so get plenty of rations to knock off. So, yeah, everyone needs to knock off. So everyone should have now eight rations. You can long rest. Lazel, you can wake up again. Get back your hit dice. Yeah, I'm awake. Happy. Yeah, as your friends tell you that they found all of this this loot, um, what are you doing with it? Well, uh, hang on, um, hang on. I've, I have a little notion. Like, we split the gold... Um, not split the gold, split the silver pieces between us, put the gold in the social fund, and split the copper pieces. And whatever the lectrum is. Lectrum is a uh, half a gold piece, I think. All right, there you well, go then. Yeah. If I may, I'm actually calculating right now, um, if we were to split everything, damn it, um, five ways, so party being the fifth, 
it would actually kind of break out into an even amount per. Except for uh, the electrum. Math, baby. Well, no. Just, just Galia yeah. is just so encouraging. If, so, yeah. So, uh, so if we split it by five, everybody to include the party, we get 150 copper, 36 silver, 12.4 electrum, which if you want, we can round that up, and six gold. Well, you can change the electrum into silver. So 12.4 is... um. 120 silver? No, it's half of that. Uh, 60 silver. Steady conversion. Yeah, because it's half a gold piece. Yeah, it um, that'd be 60 silver. 60 silver each? Yeah, because it's, it's 600, 620 silver. Yeah, you're no, right. Sorry, yeah, three, right. 310 silver, sorry. So split uh, between... 100, 124 each. 124 each. That Which includes the party, so... If everybody's okay with that, but so I'm just throwing it out you, there. You say 150 copper, 124 silver, and how much gold? Each? No, 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 no. Uh, no, okay. Um, yeah, 150 copper, 124 silver, and then six gold each. That has been added to my inventory, at least. So as long as everybody's still with that, I'm not trying to like. I'm not uh, go, go, go through that slowly. I, go, go through that slowly. We, I've done the 150 copper. What's the silver pieces? One, one two, four. One, two, four. And then six on the gold. Well, our social fund gold's a bit low. Uh, uh, how 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 low is the social gold? Nine. That's not so bad. I don't know. I mean, I mean. Well, I'm gonna add my gold pieces to the social. Well, just a reminder: if if and when you get back to town, there was a reward for taking out the the ogres, and that was a hundred gold pieces. I will transfer seven yeah, gold. Seven okay. gold. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, so the the, yeah. So it's six. Oh, you're right. That would be about nine. So that is that is that the first time we've put any money towards the group? I thought we did this before. No, I think we did it what before. What's the social we did before with the last lot? Hey, I'm tracking your gold. It's up to the party. I I will I will transfer seven gold pieces to the party fund. Done. Remove. Yeah, so don't forget to remove an ad. I'll do them later. I'm just writing it down for now. Because again, if you find gold and you don't add it to your character sheet, it's gone. Yeah, no, I've added, but I'm just... I'm just yeah. Do we not have it written down here or how much the party was before? Because we should be adding yeah, nine we got to trace for. Yeah, I think yeah, Trace right. just, add, just <laughs> added it to her gold in her um, character sheet. No, I've written it down, I'll add it in a minute. Sorry, this sequid is multitasking. Well, I thought you women were good at multitasking. Why? Um... Add up, Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause I think you got 50 gold or something, and everyone took 10, and Tracy took 10 for the party fund or something like that. That was something like that, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. she, she's got about 10 more than everyone in the party. Or at least so the, party goes be, so the party would go before anybody else added to it would be 19. Mm -hmm. right so it's hard then. to see what Tracy's doing because her camera is completely frozen. Yeah. <laughs> get, a, get a better machine. My uh, machine is perfectly fine. Obviously. It's the children that are wrong. Yeah, no, no, exactly. It's the user. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's the internet that's wrong. Right, okay, so are you short resting long resting? Long where? Long. 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 Okay, so everyone um, put your long rest down. Yeah, we have done. Already done. Uh, 
So oh, now yeah. comes the question. What the beep do we do now? Well, if you want to collect your reward, you do have to go back to town. We got to prove that we did this, though, so we need to take some kind of proof with us. Um, cut one of the heads off and, and, and put it in the back pocket. <laughs> eagle, eagle can read my mind. <laughs> I would say the mm -hmm. leader's head and the ogre, so we can show. Oh, hey, the ogre ran away. Ogre, oh, that's right. O yeah. O ogre decided to GTFO, so you're not getting his yeah. head unless we find him on the way. Chop the leader's head off. Yeah, I, I chop the leader's head off. So if we do come across anything else, you know, we have a head to say, look, what well, we. Have. Just yeah. from a yeah. practical point of view, so like saber tooth tigers, uh, orcs have two tusks, right, for their bottom teeth. So for every two tusks that you've got, you've proved that you killed or at least did some dentistry on um, on an orc. Yep. So you could uh, collect their tusks as proof. In, you know, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's collect the leader's entire head and the tusks from his underlings. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And, that and, and then, we'll, then we'll make it into a great big fucking necklace and I will wear that through town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Sarge can add to his, his inventory head of chief orc slash necklace. <laughs> Put it on us. I mean, if that doesn't do a little bit of respect it, yeah. around one, what will? <laughs> Put it on a spike and stick it in his butt. <laughs> right. Um, let's see if we can just get you back to, to Fal down, uh, Falandin before we finish the session. So, right. So you won't be able to get all the way back in one day because you, you long rested down there. Okay, well, so you said it's a day and a half travel, right? It's a day and a half travel. You didn't travel the half day back. You uh, decided to rest in the cave. So... You're going to get, let's say, roughly about there, and then the rest of it the next day. So, um, assuming you're heading out, is that right? Say that again, I'm sorry? So I'm assuming that you're, you're heading back to Falandin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so, uh, can two people roll me D20s? I'll do one, I haven't done one yet. It was Chief Ogre, right? Or... Uh, orc. Oh, okay. Four. <laughs> I've got a one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Go. Okay. Yeah, you, you successfully managed to do a day and a half, well, a day's travel. Um, you've got a half day left. Are you going to push through the night, take some exhaustion, or are you going to rest up uh, outside of town? Rest up outside of town. We don't need the exhaustion. Yeah. Nope. Right. Yeah, right. I, I agree. We don't, yeah. Plus, you don't want to be coming into the town at night. You never know, like, what kind of reception we're going to get. Right. Okay. So, it's an uneventful night. Nothing seems to happen. Right. It's just a, it's a lot less eventful on the way back. Uh, can you, someone roll me one more d20? I will do. Fifteen. Okay. Phew. Do that oh, Pokemon great. sounds, you know? Little, 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 dun, dun, dun. Is that Pokemon and Mission Impossible at the same time? <laughs> the Pokemon sound when you've been running, walking through the long grass too long. Alright, uh, I need to roll some more dice. Yeah, crap. <laughs> it's last time we let Sarge roll for... <laughs> I've added the coins. Right. So, where is this? That is a... Yeah, and what is that? Ha! It's funny. Um, <clears throat> let's put you back on. orc that ran away from us has ran. That, that's actually what you've rolled. <laughs> uh, you've rolled for an ogre. <laughs> so, <laughs> canonically, the ogre that ran away, um, you've now encountered him on the road. <laughs> right, so first of all, how are you actually, is you're going down the road, how are you, you doing this? I don't want to be first or last, but I can be... Yeah, I'll be second or third, but... Okay, so... Yes, I'm guessing that's an initiative uh, role now, yes? Well, well, who's in the front, well, first of all? I'd say Sarge should be in the front because he's taller than anybody so we can see further down the road. Yep. <laughs> uh, where's um, Lysel? Is he still carrying me? No, you should be up and around on your own feet. 
Ah, uh, cool. I'm following second. Okay, and uh, okay, so you're second. Colby's first. Uh, where is Synth? Uh, Synth will be third, I suppose. Okay, so there we go. It's Declan's at the back. Right. There we go. So, as you're walking down the road, you, you, you hear this very, very quiet sound. It sounds like, um, like a deep guttural... <laughs> almost, almost like crying, but it's far too, far too deep for that. Um... <laughs> Oh crap, and I got the head off him. <laughs> right, um, we're just gonna put him off layer for a Have you actually made the necklace yet, or are you gonna do that later in craft shop? Well, he said he was gonna ride into town with it. I intermistically made the head, made the necklace with the guy's head right in front. Okay, um, so you're walking down the road, you can hear this sound. <laughs> um, what are you doing as a group? Look at that necklace, Lloyd. <laughs> um, do we see anything? We hear the sound, but do we see? You hear the sound. Do you to investigate the sound? Is basically you hear, you hear it's oh. coming from the tree in uh, that sort of direction. Mm. Mm. Right. <laughs> but you can all hear it. Right, right. Is our ogres inherently evil, or...? Uh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold... I'm gonna hold... Dumb, probably. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold an action. I know what my action is. If... Well, you have to declare what you're gonna do, but as a, as a group, what are you doing? You, you I, I'm, gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna... I'm <laughs> gonna check, check out the sound. Because yeah, it sounds like something in distress. So, so what are you telling the group? you're doing like I, come back or come with me or what's that what I, I say I'm gonna go check that out anybody coming with I come with I will be and I'll be stealthy if I can okay so you can roll some stealth while Eagle <laughs> declares what he's doing I'm gonna hold my bonus action I'm going to grab my rapier and be ready to do the, the, the thing I don't Really want to do it, but the, that 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 that, no, that it's, ogre. It's your your action you, you can hold. So I get an eighteen on stealth. So your your proper stealthy. Lazel's coming with you. Lazel also needs to roll stealth. <laughs> I'm staying out in the road. I like to think that's exactly what your character says. It's like if you want to get killed, you do you. <laughs> 21. So, and uh, roll for a second time because you're at disadvantage because you have um, heavy armor on. Uh, eight. Right, so you're not being very stealthy at all. Okay, I keep so. Going. I keep looking at her. <laughs> Just don't fall. <laughs> right, so you, Declan, we're going to say very stealthy. You're kind of like in the bush there. And there's just this um, janky sort of clank, clank, clank as Lazelle's following you. You know, it just sounds like a knight walking along. All this metal banging together. Uh, you, ju you just hear the, that sound kind of stop. It was going... <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? And this... The, you hear the tree kind of creak. As this... um, uh, That's the wrong layer. Where is it? Go... The tree creaks as the wrong hell? layer, right? No, uh, too many map players. <laughs> right. It goes on there. And you are there. There we go. Okay. Right, as this, this large lumbering ogre kind of stands up and starts looking, and his eyes kind of lock on Lazel, uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, again, I'm going to try this. Hey, 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 relax, relax, relax. Let, let, let's talk kind of thing. Talk, you bad men. You kill friend! 
You attacked us first. We were defending ourselves. No, uh huh. But Sentry said we'd been attacked. And if we were being attacked. The Sentry was wrong. The Sentry was wrong. We just, we happened to just walk by and he freaked out. Uh, roll. Did you just walk by and freak out? That sounds like deception to me. That's What's deception. It? That's yeah. deception. So you need to, to roll a, a, a deception check. Right, with the 70 charisma, hopefully this is going to be good. Shit. 13. I sat on 12 for the longest time, but 13. Right, his intelligence is incredibly low. <laughs> Not just a little low. If okay. it was any lower, he wouldn't be able to speak. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, yeah, it sounds good to him. That makes a kind of sense. <laughs> oh, God. We, 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 we don't want to fight. We don't want to hurt you. In fact... I have a gift for you if you just go ahead and go 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 on your own way. It, it looks like he's considering this as he kind of fiddles with his great club. Okay, and I, I slowly well, say, "Do I, I, not I, gift." I, 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 let me show you the gift. It, right, and I move slowly into my backpack and I take out the three vials of orc perfume. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, these three. Vials of or, or, or perfume are yours. We won't hurt you. We won't really just go ahead and you can go on and go maybe find yourself a missus. Um, his his mouth is just open with astonishment at the the gift that you're giving him. It's just he's flabbergasted, right? This is like someone's handed him the the keys to the palace. <laughs> perfume. I'll be a hit with the ladies. <laughs> he, he, he starts doing a little dance as the, the ground starts bumping as he goes from left to right. Yeah. And it, he, he kind of puts a meaty paw out in your direction to grab these things from your hand. I, I, I carefully just, you know... Did, did you give him all three or just one of them? No, I'm going to give him all three. Right, yeah. he just grabs these and he just smashes them on his chest and just wipes it across him. As oh you see, God. you almost actually see like little bits of blood appearing as well because it's just smashed glass and hands. And he just goes, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, also, roll me constitution. <laughs> oh God. Uh... Lazel, roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, is it just constitution or is it something <laughs> off of constitution? Uh, it's a constitution saving throw. So if you've got a better saving throw, then... uh... 21. Yeah, like two, two. Right, Lazel, you're you're fine, but Declan, right? I'm this like the... you you are overcome with an uneasy sense of attraction to this. Oh no! <laughs> no, no! You son of a bitch! You, you you eye him up and down, no! and you, you just bite your lip, and you, you think to yourself, "I can fix him." No. <laughs> Oh, right. I'd rather I'd rather go on a date with Cody. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so he basically says, "Thank you, friend. I'm gonna find Big Oga. Go have fun." Yeah, uh, he, he walks over to to hug you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I so I I I. I, I, I put up my hands like, wait, 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 wait. He says, I said, two things. One, remember, the bigger the cushion, the better the pushing. And then put my hand up to do a high five. I'd rather have a broken hand than a broken rib cage. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so roll me, roll me strength from the hands against the ochre strength. Ah. Uh... Eight. My strength is ten. Um, no, he, they rolled nine. He, he high, okay, they high five you and knock you straight to the ground. <laughs> okay. and, and again, uh, you think to yourself, oh, this one likes to play rough. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right. Oh. Uh, so they're, they're just going to say to you, you know, 
if you ever want to find me again, I'll be in the caves. And they just kind of give you a big wink, right? Uh, and they're like, I have you know, I'm considered quite the beauty. Right, because this is a female ogre. Oh, you never said that before. Okay. <laughs> and it's just going to give you a monstrous wink, and it's going to lumber off back in the direction where you came. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, you you have gained the condition in love with an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's not how I, I saw this interaction ending. <laughs> Thank fuck it wasn't me. <laughs> oh me hey the session's not over yet there buddy <laughs> right um yeah oh god Jesus Christ oh, this I is one for the memoirs <laughs> there's actually a scene in Baldur's Gate 3 that just like this anyway you'll have to look no, at I, one I don't have Baldur's Gate 3 so don't spoil it <laughs> no but it did involve an ogre and it did involve some sexy time anyway oh my god Jesus. Right, so you you successfully managed to, to navigate that interaction without combat. Well, this better give me some decent experience. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's just move you back to the main map. That's a thing that happened. We're going to move you back to, to Falandin. Right. Uh, we'll probably pick up uh, what happens from there on the next session, but you guys can add 100 gold pieces, so that's 25 gold pieces each. Or you can put it in the party funds, whichever way you want to do that. Maybe 20, 20 um, each to include the party fund? Like, it's however you want to split it, but it's 100 gold pieces. What do you think, guys? 20 each and 20 yep. to the party? Sounds yep. good to me. All right. Yep. Right. And the whole purpose of that was so you could level up a little bit and be in a better place to do the mana. So you are all now level three. Nice. Wee. Uh, and we all we all learned a new thing about um, Declan today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit scary things, but okay. <laughs> Death by oh. Schnoo Schnoo. Hey, hey! I saved us a fight, and like <laughs> that, that. I promise you, that is going to come back to haunt you. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Do you do max hit points, or I got to roll my hit points? Or you go for um, it, it's it's up to you. In the main campaign that we do on the Thursdays, we've got the main one, the one that's been going longest. We we all roll the hit points, but for this one, it's it's up to you. You can take the average, which is what normally happens, or you can uh, roll it if you really want to. All right. So. Right. So, what does everyone get at level three, guys? Uh, I don't think I get anything. Not anything extra, anyway. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I do get something. Sorry. So, Lazel gets an ability score improvement, or she could choose a feat. So that, uh, that could be. You don't have feet? So Lazel can either add two to some sort of. Well, add some points to her skills, or take one of the, the feats, like Tavern Brawler or something. Uh, what's Sarge going to get? Uh, Sarge gets extra spell slots, and you get level two spells. Ooh. So you, effectively, you get three extra spell slots, which is going to help you a lot, I think. Uh, what does our warlock get? I get a pack boon, looks like, Ooh. so far. Uh, what are you, the the undying? The great old one, the fiend. I'm sorry? Uh, which pact are you? Um, oh, I can't remember. Uh, I think it was undying. Yeah, I'm undying. Because I've got a, I've got a unusual pack, but... Yeah, I still think you should have more spells. Oh, wait, because they're prepared. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you get... Uh, 
<laughs> Spiritual weapon. Oh, so you can get something like um, Pack to the Blade, Pack to the Chain, Pack to the yeah. Tomb. So yeah. you've got some interesting stuff to, to look at. Yeah, I'm, Ooh, I'm Pack to the Chain, right. you might have a familiar. Yeah, I know, I was looking at that one. I've got, a first, I've got a first level thing as well. And what does Eagle get? He gets um, Blood Hunter Order. Oh, you get to choose your archetype. You get to choose what type of Blood Hunter you're going to be. Yeah, I'm going to have to bug you for that one at some point. I think the next you're session. going with the Order of the Lycan. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, so interesting stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. And just case they're going from three to four. Let's have a look. From two to three. Yeah, from two to three it should be. Yeah. Yeah, six spells last now. That's a good. That's a good thing. Yeah, and you can now upcast as well. So, what's your your question, Lazel? Or trace? Yeah. Go on. Uh, you said you had a question. No, I said I've got a level one. What do you mean you've got a level one? I have a level one thing. It's called um, jump. Oh, I've no idea what you. What do you mean you? A level one feat, packed. Oh God, Githyanki psionics. Uh, you. Are you... Oh, you've got spells, don't you? Sort of. It's a touch thing. Right. You don't use Giff Yankee very often. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Starting at third level, you can cast the jump spell uh, because of your race. <laughs> yeah. I can make so, a creature jump. Uh, no, it's you. So you cast the spell <laughs> and your jump distance is tripled. And um, Mad Dog absolutely loves this spell. He refuses to give up his ring of jumping because he just likes jumping around all over. The <laughs> cool. Right. Do centaurs get anything at level three, Sarge? And the only thing I noticed is uh, extra spell slots. Uh, well, well, I did get the uh, spiritual weapon as a bonus action. So uh, that's a uh, that's one of your spells. Yep, I know, but it's an option. Uh, lesser restoration was also one that I got. Also level two. Yeah, so you get a few um a few spells just because of the. Uh, the alignment that you get. So you get a whole bunch free. Yeah, that's about uh, all the new stuff that I got, apparently. So, yeah. yeah. And all the so, ones that I had on one are also available as two now, so... Yep. Yeah, so you got uh, got a ton of stuff. Let's just look back at... Um... You said oh, something well. about up, up thing, something... Sorry about what? You said something about I got something oh, up, up upcast. Upcast. So you can anything that you can cast at level one, you can now cast at level two. Ah. Yeah. So for instance, if you cast healing word at level two, you get an extra D four dice. If you cast inflict wounds at level two, you get an extra D ten. So they they just do more damage. Yeah, that's why they're also marked on level two. So, yeah. Right. I was just looking at some of the stuff that Eagle gets. Hey, you're being jelly now. <laughs> if he takes like like an opera which I think was the one we talked about, he gets um, improved senses of a natural predator, advantage on perception checks. He can turn into as a bonus action. He can transform into a hybrid werewolf for one hour. Uh, what does that actually do for him? Oh, follows like an opera I think you gain all sorts of resistances to damage. Ooh. Okay, 
Yeah, hybrid we'll... transformation features. You get bonus strength, extra AC, predatory strikes. Oh, and a bloodlust. That sounds hilarious. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to talk about which one we... I, I think, like you said, I think it is was the Order of the Lycan, but I'm going to have to go through them again and see what does what. It, it's about how complicated you want. Um, because you've got Poor Fain Soul, has got spells involved. Mutant has got... It's like the Witcher, you've got a lot of mutagens. Ghost Slayer, that looks quite simple. Um, got some interesting stuff there. But yeah, you're going to have to just take a look at it. Yep. Yeah, some interesting stuff. Right, guys. Um, when do people want to set their next, next session? Before the end of the month. Let's just see. Sure not the 4th of February? No. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be I think she's just saying she's unavailable. So what, the 28th of January, are people available? Uh, yes. Yeah. Sounds, sounds okay right. to me. Tracy? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah? Okay, so we'll pencil that in for the, the 28th of January. So that's what, two weeks, three weeks? Mm. Uh, three weeks. And I've got, a, I've got a sneaking suspicion that it'll be a combat heavy one as well if you're just going for the mana. Well, that, that's if, um, you know, you don't sell them more Orc perfume. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 sold, I gave them all to the uh, ogre. You know, it's a pity you could have used it on yourself and become irresistible to the bugbears. <laughs> God. Or you could have yeah. uh, used one as a stink bomb. Yeah. You could have taken four for the team. <laughs> um, Declan, distract them. We're going... <laughs> I, I, I must remember I have those ball bearings for next for next um Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's one of the things you have to do is remember some of your equipment, but they're a great trap. You can use them as an action and it just people fall over. And once they've fallen over, attacking them you get uh advantage. So it's easy to crit. Where on your character sheet do you find proficiency bonus? Right. Just catch it. It's uh, right at the top, next to your walking speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Ooh, it, just, it, it just adds to a bunch of your stats. Yeah. And also punishes you for trying to use weapons you're not proficient in. Right, so right, like, right. So, um, like, you get a plus five to hit with, like, um, a simple weapon. But if you're trying to use a martial weapon, like a greatsword, you don't get your proficiency, so you get plus three instead. So it does... it misses more often. Yeah. Let's add to a whole bunch of other things. Uh. Right. Okay. So, um, I think uh, I think that's where we leave it. Sounds about right to me. <sighs> yep. Right. Okay. Does everyone want to say goodbye to your viewers? Boom. Boom. Badly. Boom. 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 Five viewers. I personally am just surprised that Declan didn't die that session. Yeah, I'm, I'm it, was, it was close. Very I, close. I'm yeah, very I'm surprised close. I didn't neither. Hey, I, and I, me. Two fails, and then, uh, two fails and then a natural 20 to get. I mean, yeah, that was. 